Hello everybody, welcome to episode 3 of 5 Idiots, uh, Lost Minds of Fandel or something like that. Faulty, take it away please. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, right. So, where, uh, where, where were we last time? So, last time I think we cleared out the Red Brand's uh, hideout, correct? Yes. If we go over what happened last session, so if I zoom out of the map here a little bit. So you guys managed to uh, to work your way through the Red Brand's hideout after you had figured out what was going on in the town. A lot of people told you that uh, the Red Brands had basically come in, overtaken the town, and they, uh, they needed to be cleared out. So you guys worked your way through, you dodged many, many traps, <laughs> you killed many, many people, and you've, uh, and you've made your way here. You've cleared out all the Red Brands. Unfortunately, their leader, Glassstaff, managed to uh, get away last time, didn't they? Just about. <laughs> Which isn't good, so you might see him later on. Uh, I think, Jim, you uh, you brutally... Oh, you didn't murder him. You you, you brutalised somebody in the jail cells. Mm. Um, what else happened? You I'm sure he eggs, bled out. I stabbed him ones. nearly to death. I stabbed him nearly to death. I'm sure he bled out. There's nearly no way death. he escaped. Did he almost died? He did a, he did a nice <laughs> backwards roll. And, oh, uh, I was fine. Your spine came out, Dim. Yeah. Your spine came oh, out your back. Your spine did come out, Dim. <laughs> That's fine. It's okay. And you yeah, got dramatic. So I think, I think uh, Fiat came up the little secret entrance here and talked to you guys, basically saying that you guys need to come out to the courtyard. Is that correct? Mm. Yes. Right. So, uh, we'll basically pick up where we left off. So, you guys want to have a look around this room? Yeah, yeah. I want to... Let's see. I think I ended... How did I end? Um, standing at the desk. Yeah, standing at the desk. So I wanted to look at the desk. So on the desk, you found a nice leather-bound diary with a uh, with a red, what would you call it? A red bookmark in it. Um, you're basically flipping through it, and you don't find much significance. But uh, you do find an extract, which I'm going to send you now. Okay. Have a read through that. What are the rest of you doing? I'm spooning with Dimmy in bed. <laughs> spooning with Dimmy, Dimmy in yeah. bed, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Is, is that uh, a is chest that not... at the foot of the bed? Yeah, I was going to say, that looks like a chest. That is very, very astute, Jimmy. Thanks. I'm going to look uh, at the chest. Walk... I'm surprised. I'm surprised Trent hasn't already gone gold and run at it. But I, <laughs> I'll have a cheeky look at it. You walk up to the chest. Yeah. And uh, you try and pull it open, but you, you can't get into the chest. Right. It appears to be locked. Can I try and lock, like, pick lock it? Lock pick it? Lock pick lock it, that's pick the one. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you can if you want to. Do you have any lock picks, Jim? I'm hammered already. I've got some manacles. <laughs> oh, you got uh, some manacles. Do you, do you have it. any lock picks? I've got some. I've got a crowbar. I've got a crowbar, and that's basically a lock pick. That's a crowbar. So you're going to try and bust it open? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Make a, make a strength check for me. Oh god, I need to find a website. With, what is it, D20 or roll D20? I mean, if you just type the dice on Google. Right, Dim, Kaz, what are you guys doing? You're currently sitting there just staring at each other on the bed intently. <laughs> I've got the, um, the sort of cupboard stroke wardrobe at the opposite side, so top left. Ah, so 11. you meander your way over? Yeah. But well, I figure I better that. start looting before the, you know Jim and Trent, the greedy bastards, loot it all. You know what they're like. So you um you start going through and you're looking through it, and there's there's not much in there. It appears just to be robes and general clothing. Um, there doesn't appear to be much in there. You found a book on top, which is uh, an idiot's guide to magic. Uh, apart from that, not much else. Hey guys, in this diary, is is this a good time, Fault Force? It's up to you. You okay. Okay. Um, in this diary, I found a excerpt that's kind of interesting. Uh, do you guys want me to read it to you? Yes, please. Okay. It says, Lord Albrecht, my spies in Neverwinter tell me that the strangers are due to arrive in Phandalin. They could be working for the dwarves. Capture them if you can, kill them if you must, but don't allow them to upset our plans. See that any Dwarven maps in their possessions are delivered to me with haste. I'm counting on you, Larno. Don't disappoint me. Mm. Mm. 
I bet Lano was one of the poor bastards that Jim absolutely tortured to death <laughs> when he. Oh, never so know. you um so you guys start reading through the diary and uh, it appears it is Lano's diary. So you remember Glass Staff from last time, the uh, the mysterious red brand wizard who had a a glass staff and uh, and shook the inside of the cave and almost killed you all. Yes. Yeah. That was uh, that was Glass Staff. Mm. And that appears to be his diary. <clears throat> mm, interesting. There's uh, there's not much in there apart from that extract. I mean, you go through it, you start looking through, and it's mostly just the prisoners that are being kept and the general plans of what's going on with Vandalin. There's not much else in there. So do you think those prisoners that we uh, <laughs> killed <laughs> were the spies that they were talking about? Um... You're looking through it, and you, you don't really put two and two together. It's uh, it, it doesn't okay. look like that's the case. Okay. But what it what it does? They've actually got the prison guard rotor in there, and you're flicking through it, and you realise that uh, the the person Jim that uh, that you were you were brutalising, <laughs> his uh, his name was Philip the Red Brand, was actually taken from the village and forced to join against his will. Oh wow. If Everything only... is uh, corroborated in there. If only Dimrath had actually used Detect Evil, eh? <laughs> but he refused. Oh, there you go. No, like, why is it, like, you guys, you guys if need to If only we talked to him, eh? More. You know, fancy that. Apart like, none from none turning him inside me, out. Like, none of you even know anything about me. Like, just <laughs> expect me, expect me to, like, heal you and look after you and do all this stuff. Like, I don't know nothing what about, about him. What about Timmy? He's not... final tap. What about Honestly. Timmy? He's not made of wood, you know. Fucking hell. I rolled an right, 11 for the crowbar, by the way, your... Fawlty. What, you mean? You're on 11 for the crowbar. Yeah. I, I just met you, Jimmy, and like you waterboarded some guy, and then you dragged him to his animals and killed his animals in front of him. And That's then very hacked true. It, and then hacked it in with a teaspoon. I, I mean, like, to be honest, mate, I'm, I'm not your biggest fan right now. <laughs> what about so, um, the goblin? Jim, so. you get your crowbar, right? Yeah. And you, uh, you go to pry it in between the... Uh, in between the the top half of the chest that opens and the body of it, and it uh, it just bounces off with a little ping. I'm gonna have to ask Patea to come over and use a lockpick, aren't I? <laughs> I guess I can do that. <laughs> Please, Jimmy, what are you doing in the meantime? Please don't take everything for yourself, though. <laughs> I'm a, um, I, if there's I, any gold, I require ten gold <laughs> as payment for my services. <laughs> okay. Can I, can I just walk over to the last remaining desk and see if there's anything on that? Oh, over here? Yeah, the one below Kaz. Mm, there are some lovely chess pieces on there, Dimmy. Lovely, oh, lovely stone, handcrafted chess pieces from Neverwinter. Can I you, pocket uh, them? Uh, you can do, yeah. Pocket the chess pieces. That's fine. I'm not going to tell you how much they're worth unless you try and make a check. But you've, uh, you've uh, pocketed some chess pieces. Can I, can I check it? Can I check? Uh, you can, yeah. yeah. Roll a roll yeah. a d twenty for me. Um, okay. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> Dimmy, these are the worst chess pieces you have ever seen. Why are they made out of stone? Why stone? They could have been made out of ornamental metal. They could have been made out of gold, platinum. Lovely, wow. lovely chess pieces, but these are stone. These are horrible. You don't like these, Demi. They're horrible chess pieces. <laughs> How heavy are they? Like they about the normal weight of a chess piece. <laughs> Not that heavy. Oh, okay. I'll leave them. I'll just leave. Them. You're gonna leave them? I see. So Trent, you uh, you walk up. Have you got a lockpick? I do indeed. Go on. Attempt to lockpick it open. Okay. Nat twenty. Oh baby. Nat twenty. How do you uh how do you open it? Um, as soon as I stick the lockpick in it, I just give it a little wiggle and then the whole chest just like immediately just springs open. <laughs> nice. Lovely. So you um you open up this chest. It's it's a normal looking chest. It's very out of place for the rest of the room. It is literally just an old oak chest with iron banding and rivets going down the side of it. But you uh, you open it up, and inside there is a large bag with 130 gold pieces. You do oh a little God. bit more digging, and there is a pearl in there, to your best of knowledge, worth about 100 gold pieces. You also find a scroll of charm person and a scroll of fireball. 
Scroll of fireball. I uh, don't tell anyone, and I just uh, shove that into my shirt. Long. Make a slight check. Yeah. You're being robbed, Nim. Disgusterous. Disgusterous. Slight hand. Fourteen plus three. Fourteen. Seventeen. Yeah, you scoop up the uh, you scoop up the scroll of fireball, and it's in your it's in your pocket. Right. So. So let, let's divvy up the gold then, eh? Fairly with like, so what's that? 30, 30 for the rest of us and 40 for Patea. That's right, isn't it? Yep, add that to your shit. <clears throat> I can actually add it now, now that I know where the bit for gold is. <laughs> so all add, uh, all add 30 gold pieces. Who's going to keep hold of the pearl? I will. Me. I will. I saw the chest. It's only fair. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> And has anyone, checked, has anyone checked under the bed yet? And I'll tip the scroll as well, yeah. Nobody's checked under the bed yet, no? Ooh. Um, okay, well, do you know what? I'm going to have a little peek under the bed. Right. And so you around are, it. Ray, make a, uh, make a perception check. Okay. <laughs> Four. <laughs> mm. Um... You crawl under the bed and you notice there is a glowing light coming from one of the walls. Ooh. Ah, so like um, like an entrance, like a glory hole, maybe, um, <laughs> of some description, a glorious opening. <laughs> know, you can investigate a little bit further if you'd like. <laughs> oh I will. In I will investigate. Um, I've watched enough scary movie. I'll put my ear to it. <laughs> so you, uh, you crawl under the bed and you investigate a little bit further. And you uh, you put your hand into the hole where the light is coming from. And you pull out this mysterious looking puzzle box that is adorned with gold banding. And uh, you try to open it, but there's a faint glowing from it. And you assume it's magically closed. That could have been so much worse, to be fair, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it, it could have involved dwarf cock or something. It could have been. Could have been. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, do you know what? I don't want to tell these greedy bastards about it, really. But uh, how big is this box, please? The dimensions? Small enough. Um, <clears throat> that would be a good description of it. Um, it's, it's a very small box. Very small box, about the size of a ketchup bottle. That's the best thing I can give you. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, he looked around. Soren, Soren, ketchup saw, bottle on his desk. That's all that <laughs> about the size of a ketchup bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that's about the size of this dildo. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> oh man, not joking. Not joking about the condiment desk. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so you pick that up, add it to your, uh, add it to your inventory. Just this um, box, okay. A mysterious box. What a uh, what size of ketchup bottle? It's a, it's a two hundred, sorry, four hundred twenty-five gram condom <laughs> bottle. <laughs> Lovely. So yeah. What do you guys want to do now? Do you want to make your way outside or you want to keep looking around? Before we do that, and it's unrelated to the room, I want to check my pockets because you said there was something in the pocket of my cloak of billowing. And I didn't yes. check it because we we're fighting. But now I'd like to check my pocket and see what's in my cloak of billowing, please. Reach into your pocket. Roll a D100. Ooh. Very exciting. 101, no. One. <laughs> Uh, one. <laughs> well, wow. Jim, you've uh, you found sand, a lot of sand. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> you've got a pocket full of sand, mate. Well, brilliant, then. brilliant. I'll throw it. Gets away, a chance then. to roll for a magical item, and he uh, he gets sand. Yeah. So you're gonna toss it away? No, it might be magical sand. I'll put. It, I'll keep it in there. I'll keep it in there. It might be magical sand. It might be magical sand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. There you go. You've uh, acquired some sand. Right, yeah, what you guys want to do? Let's fuck off. So, have we checked anything? Has everyone, anyone checked around the chair or the sofa? You know, you know, there's always stuff down the back of the sofa. <laughs> True. Are we, what, are we looking for like 10 P's or something? Yeah, a couple, <laughs> couple of 50 P's. <laughs> you might get lucky. <laughs> We've just got 30 gold each. 
Demi, you uh, oh. you walk to the side and you uh, pull the sofa back a little bit and you find one copper piece. No, I'm gonna throw it, Kaz. Can you tell me? Sorry, this is. Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, how much is a one gold crown worth? Um, I don't know. I don't really do the conversions. I just stick to gold. Right, but what can it's, you buy with a gold? It's, it's about seventy-five quid GBP, buy, I guess. So like buy a about, beer. About buy pence. a beer. Buy a beer. A London beer or a northeast beer. <laughs> You can buy a Mastodon leg beer for one gold. Ooh, Ooh. so we're pretty expensive then. A Mastodon okay, beer. Okay, okay, I'm not going to throw it. I'm not going to throw it, Jimmy. I'm so what, 50 it. quid? 50 <laughs> quid, shall we say? 50 quid? Eh. In this universe, no, five, fine. six quid. There we go. Ten quid at most. Ten it, it's, it's arbitrary. It's a arbitrary. Mastodon beer for a tenner. Imagine that. I'd buy a fucking hell. I'd be dead. <laughs> I'd be fucking dead. <laughs> So yeah, you uh, you guys make your way out of the uh, of the keep, okay. and you uh, you start walking down the path, and you're uh, you're greeted by the uh, the dragonborn Fiat and his band of dragonborns, who, uh, who greet you kindly. All the town folks are lined up, cheering for you, as you, uh, as you walk down the path. Glorious, absolutely glorious. You guys are uh, you guys are true heroes in Fandolin. You're all invited back to the uh, back to the inn. For a fancy drink. Oh baby. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. So you uh, so you make it back to the inn and you start trundling your way in. One by one. It's uh it's nice nice and crowded at the moment, completely bustling with lots of friendly faces that you uh that you may or may not recognize. <laughs> And yeah, you're you're greeted by Marcus up at the bar. He says, "Ah, ah, hello, friends, come over, come oh, over." Oh, what I drinks stuff. for you? He gives you a he gives you a little wink, Dimmy, as uh, as you walk over to the bar. Hey, no. Dimrath, I think you have something special for him. I did, didn't I? I can't remember what it was. But... No, no, I Pearl I necklace. Do. I, I, don't, I don't. I'm not going to give it to him. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Dimrath. I think you have something of importance for this person. Yeah, uh, Marcus walks down and goes, "Ah, what this?" As he, uh, as he rests his elbow on the on the side of the bar, <laughs> leaning over. I, I'm gonna say, Pote has got something for you, and I'm gonna quickly hand it to her to give to him. Oh. No, no, no! Out. You can't get out of this. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's not mine. <laughs> yeah, he stands I get, I get over at you. And... Dimmy. So, Dimmy, I'm going to shove Dimmy towards the front of the bar saying, Come on, man. You got this. <laughs> Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give him what he wants. Well, <laughs> are you sure about that, Dimmy? <laughs> you, well, um, I, don't, I don't want to, you, but. You, you give him the Stone Stout Amulet, correct? That's it, the Stone Stout Amulet. Right, so, I don't he, think um, that's what he wants. <laughs> he, he, he takes it in his hand, and he, uh, his expression changes instantly, and he asks, where, where did you get this? I got it from your mate. I got it from the... Uh, I don't know what his name was. Oh, one of you it was his brother, wasn't it? Was it? Mate. Yeah, it was his bro, wasn't it? Uh... Yeah, he overhears you saying that. Toblin? Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, he was... Well... Uh... well... <laughs> did we don't lie to him? He's not really okay, no. <laughs> He can uh, he can hear all of you guys saying this, and he uh, oh, he just right. he starts to he starts to sadden as he uh, as he stares at the amulet. I uh, I hadn't talked to to Toblin in years, unfortunately. Is he uh is is he passed? He has. Yeah, I'm sorry. Was it was it painless? It was. It was. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! More, more painless than anyone we've put down. Let's be, let's put it like that. <laughs> he doesn't need to know, Kaz. He, um, he, he, he can hear you saying this. D don't, don't need to know what. Don't need to know what, Dimrath. As he, uh, yeah. as he slams his fist on the table. It, it wasn't the best death. Okay, right. Before you continue. I prefer to focus on how a man lived than how he died. And I'm sure your brother lived an honourable life. Shut up, Dimmy. <laughs> Marcus lets out a sigh and goes, Well, it's the way the dice roll sometimes. And he, uh, he puts the amulet 
puts the amulet under his uh, under his coat into a pocket. Uh, he's he's visibly sadder now, but you know he's he's still got a job to do. So he goes, what what what, what can I get you? What can I get you, adventurers? Anything you want on the house? Oh, I'll have I'll have Malibu and Coke, please. <laughs> <laughs> So he, he walks up to you and you go, ah, you want a Malibu and Coke? I see. In your, uh, and he looks behind him. Traditional Mastodon Tusk, yes. <laughs> and b- before you can answer, he, uh, he goes back behind the bar. <laughs> prepares this huge Mastodon Tusk, Jimmy. Um, oh, brings it out and, uh, and plonks it on the table in front of you. <laughs> he goes extra special just for you and gives you a wink. Thanks, Marcus. You're the best. <laughs> and you, you fine lady, what can I, what can I get you? Wait, me? Yep. <laughs> oh, I'll just have, um... Uh, I'll just have straight Malibu. Straight from the can. Straight Malibu from the can? Fortunately, we don't nice. have canned Malibu here. Unfortunately. <laughs> but let me see what I can do. As he, uh, as he goes back behind the bar and you hear him fumbling around with barrels. And he, uh, and he comes back with a nice tankard of, uh, of barrel-aged Malibu. Oh. Whoa. This Extra is... coconut edition. Oh, <laughs> puts on the table in front of you with a nice coaster, and then, if by magic, he uh, he flicks back his coat, and then pulls out from the side of it a uh, a nice cocktail umbrella and puts it in the top of it. Oh, Enjoy. Nice. Thank you. And for you, my uh, very special gentleman, <laughs> he, uh, he winks over at you. Me. <laughs> you? I have a pop. I mean, who else, who else would it be? I love a yeah, Budweiser. Yeah, it gives you a nice smile. <laughs> and can I have it in this specific tankard as well? Oh uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, it's this is policy. We have to serve it in our in our own glassware. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> I want it in the tankard. I've just <laughs> bought you this Loomstone. Please grant my wish. <laughs> he uh, he sighs. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Please grant my wish. <laughs> I don't know what to say. No, that's what <laughs> fantasy people say. Well, Fifteen. Yeah, Fifteen. He goes. Just uh, don't, don't don't let the boss see you. I won't. Yeah, uh, as he takes your tankard, trundles back behind the bar, fills it up, and uh, plonks it down in front of you. <clears throat> cheers, cheers, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> ah, and for you, my uh, my stone gauntleted friend. <laughs> Well, Marcus, you are an expert in bartending, and I feel like we know you a little bit now. So from one expert to another, um, Mm. I would like you to humbly suggest something that a double gold and silver medalist (laughs) would like to drink. He he laughs. He he laughs and says, uh, if you're you're looking for specific drinks like that, you uh, better come back after dark. (laughs) But, uh, but now I can get you. Mm, yeah, he starts pouring. He starts looking behind him. He starts uh, looking through all the all the jars and uh, all the bottles, and he looks through it. And he pulls out this very nice adorned bottle of uh, of absinthe, and uh, he Ooh. pours you a very tall highball glass full of it. And he uh, gives you a little wink and says, "Enjoy." As he puts it down in front of you on a nice coaster. Nice one, Marcus, me old fruit. <laughs> As he starts walking off uh, into the back to presumably start polishing glasses and such. Pol- He's polishing. Polishing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> polishing more than glasses. <laughs> oh, Demi. Oh, Demi. Oh, yeah. Well, mate, it sounded like he was coming on to you there. I think I might have dumped him on you there. That's, that's what I would normally do. I would I'd try and uh, <laughs> deflect the interest onto someone more suitable. <laughs> You're thinking double make a me. Make, make a perception check, Kaz. Uh, okay. Oh man. Amazing. Five. Mm. <laughs> Five. Um. <laughs> there, there, there's something about what he said with the um, with coming back after dark. You don't know exactly what it is, but there's something significant about that. <laughs> it, was, it, wasn't an, it wasn't just an. It wasn't just a. It wasn't just an offhand comment. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Are really? my dragonborn friends in there drinking with us? There's uh, there's only one, unfortunately. He's at the back. Um, uh, it's Hellboy, as you can uh, as you can see, in the, uh, standing in for him. He's uh, he's sitting at the back drinking alone at the moment. He's got red skin on, he like a dragon. 
genius. Can I can I go up to my boy Hellboy and say, hi? We all should. We need to get I... paid, don't we? You do. So you are yeah. you heading over there? Yeah. Oh, See yeah. the guy. Um, yeah. For the money. Um, can I do a sleight of hand and just hand him thirty gold? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as they're walking over, you do a sleight of hand, and you uh, you hand him over thirty gold. And Fiat looks back at you and goes, "What's this for?" Uh, this is just in general, just for uh, you know, making sure we weren't dead while we were in the uh, in the dungeon today, and just in in return for all the drinks you guys are giving us. I just want to give you guys a token of my appreciation. <laughs> he um. He sees the gold that's uh, that's in your hand, and there's assumedly the small little leather pouch. And he uh, he takes your hand, he puts his big hand over yours, and uh, slowly closes your hand shut. And goes, I uh, I, I appreciate, but uh, it's really not needed. As he pushes your hand back slightly, <laughs> and very covertly. Okay, okay, I I, I accept. What a lovely fella. <laughs> Thank you, Theat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, so you guys, uh, you guys gonna go sit at the table, yeah? Yeah. Why can I not move the fucking things? Is it broken? Maybe it's broken. You just moved them a second ago, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh, guess we have to reload it. Two seconds. Oh, magical. Problem Whoa. solved. Glorious. <clears throat> Apparently I can't move it. There is no section, nothing selected to move. Eh? 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 Okay. That's when, when I try to move it. Maybe you've changed how you select things or move things. Yeah, maybe you've changed layer? how you move things. There you go. Just got to select layer. Never easy, is it? Never easy. Never easy. So, um, you guys all crowd around the table. It's a nice isolated booth. <laughs> There are um, there are basically tall walls around it, so they are private booths. And uh, he basically just thanks you for the work that you've done and helping them remove the red brand scourge from uh, from Fandolin. And he gives you each a small satchel with thirty more gold pieces. Ooh, thanks. So for add those, note them down. Fiat, if you, uh, if you ever need you? more work, come and talk to me. Ooh. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, young um, one. Um, I, I found this, uh, what is it? Like, excerpt in the diary of Glassstaff is what we're calling him. It was the leader of the Red Brands. He ended up escaping, but mm. it said something about, um, uh, oh, what did it say? It said something about some spies coming into town. Strange as it said. Yeah, uh, it said he sighs. He sighs and he uh, says, we, uh, we, we can't talk about this now. Meet me oh. after uh, after closing time around the back. Okay, <laughs> really? sounds good. I'll to you. explain more. <laughs> We're gonna be meeting everyone around the back. It's gonna be a right party. <laughs> this calls for another beer. Beers, <laughs> <laughs> boys. Do you know what? I think I'm I'm gonna go back to the bar and get another drink. You're gonna go back to the bar? I'm probably yeah. gonna drink this whole fucking bottle. <laughs> Can't right. stay away from Marcus, can he? Look at him. So you uh, you trundle over to the bar, and Marcus very excitedly <laughs> Dimmy greets you, and he goes, "Ah, my friend Dimrath, how was Hello. your drink?" Yeah, he, uh, he gives you a little wink. <laughs> he <laughs> really <laughs> likes winking, doesn't he? <laughs> it was delicious. Thank you very much. Mm, very glad. Extra special just for you, as always. Uh, can I get another one of those, please? <laughs> he sighs and he goes, "You can." However, and he uh, he points to the back, and you see a uh, you see a, a shadowy figure <laughs> uh, emerge from the back, a little halfling chef, and he uh, he looks over at Marcus, and he gives him a disapproving look before walking back to the kitchen. I'm, I'm afraid it's going to have to be our glassware this time, uh, old friend. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I just wanted to ask you one thing as well. Before you can do that, he uh, he starts pouring you a. Uh, he starts pouring you a nice new drink in a nice new tankard. And he goes, this one, he goes, just, just got imported yesterday. Special, just for you. As he uh, plonks it down in front of you. No, Limited I'm not... edition lemon Budweiser. 
I'm, I'm not thirsty. <laughs> I'm not thirsty. It's Only a hundred barrels made, Dimrath. We ordered this in specially for you. I, 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 I really can't. I can't. Honestly, I'm, I'm really sorry. Jimmy wants to ask him one question. Do you work? Yeah. Out? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I mean, if I could pour it into my tanker, then maybe I could drink it. But I, I, I can't. Like, I, alas, like, alas, I cannot. I cannot allow okay. it. No, no, no. This tankard is very special to me, and I, I swore a vow uh, to someone that I would never drink out of anything other than this tankard. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to decline the offer. Um, but I do have one question for you. Go ahead. Are, are you okay? <laughs> he uh, oh, he lets out a sigh. He goes, I'll, 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 I'll survive. You know, it is what it is. People people come and go. I just... I, I wish we had parted on better terms, is all. Aye. As he, uh, as he shakes his head and looks down. Okay, brother. And then I'm, I'm, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. I'll come back to these guys. As you're, uh, as you're turning away, you turn your head. He puts, his, uh, he puts his right hand on your hand and goes, Thank you for asking. <laughs> Before, no, no uh, before slowly no. letting go and letting you walk away. <laughs> slowly letting go. Yeah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking anything out of That's not my thing. You know how that's went, that went down, don't you? Amazing. Yeah. There was electricity, wasn't there, Dim? There was electricity. There was a little bit. I'm not going to lie. There was a little bit. Yeah. I, I've spent a lot of time at war, you know? Like, like, oh, God. Amazing. You uh, you start to you start to hear loud banging from behind you guys coming from the other booth. Oh no! As, uh, as people are getting a little bit rowdy and they're uh, they're starting to drink. Flipping you uh, you Norse. peer around the corner and there are uh, there are a couple of Norsemen, <laughs> three of them to be precise, and uh, they're getting very rowdy. They've had a bit too much to drink. But, you know, it's funny it's that the, I heard it's the them. Times at the moment. I heard them a minute ago. Yeah, and they were talking absolute bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Norse being the best Blood Bowl race. I mean, you look around yeah, and you, yeah. uh, you check on the table and there appears to be this mysterious board game that's, uh, <laughs> that's laid out and they appear to be fighting each other with these little miniatures. Um, I, found, I found their argument to be full of holes. Just yeah. as, as, a, as a Blood Bowl expert yourself. <laughs> all, those, uh, all those nights spent in Netherwinter playing Blood Bowl in the tavern. <laughs> oh, there you go. So uh, Fiatch looks over to you. So, so we get this started then. As yes. he, as uh, he, he gestures over to the the barkeep for another round of drinks. The uh, the barkeep trundles over with a tray full of drinks. He's got another Mastodon tusk for you, Jimmy. For you, Kaz. He uh, he looks through he looks through his drinks and he has a nice highball, but this time instead of absinthe. He, uh, he's got you a nice highball of tequila. Very, very strong stuff. Very nice stuff. I like tequila. Um, yeah. For you, Trent, he has, a, he has another tankard of aged Malibu. <laughs> Lovely. Glorious. And he, uh, he, 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 looks, over at, really he, he nice. looks over at you, Dim, and he uh, puts his hand on your shoulder while holding up the tray in the other hand. You sure I can't interest you, Dim Rath? I, I'm, I'm really good. As he's, sli- as he's basically leaning and pressing himself up against your back ever so slightly. <laughs> Uh, I'll, no, you're absolutely fine, mate. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Do we see that? You see it, yeah. Can I, sne- can I just walk up behind Dimrath and whisper in his ear, "Do it. Give him a little kiss." <laughs> the problem is, you're currently behind. Uh, you're currently behind Kaz. You're sectioned in at the back. Yeah. What do you want about Trent, you weirdo? I do, I do a jump. I stand up. No, jump. no jumping. No, <laughs> no jumping. Okay. We don't want you to die. I'm overcast. Oh my god. Oh god. Dimmy, he, um, he eyes up your back and realizes that there's a lot of blood and he notices the linen that's on your back. And he, uh, he goes, what's, uh, what, what's, what's happened here? As he looks over at all of you. <clears throat> It's a long it's a story, long Marcus. Story. It's, it's a long, long story. story. Yeah, he lets out a laugh and he goes, ah, l- at least let me clean you up, Dimrath. As he, uh, as he pulls you to your feet quite forcefully. And uh, okay. he takes you upstairs to uh, to one of the, what you assume to be a bathing room. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Give him a now good sponge bath for us. <laughs> 
Can we yeah, he the hears you. Music to Enjoy your happy ending, Dimras. <laughs> Marcus, uh, Marcus <laughs> hears you and uh, starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Dimmy, he uh, he takes you upstairs and he uh, he gives you a towel first off, and uh, he directs you to what appears to be a sauna. Oh, baby! I'm he says, "Look, come on." He uh, he says, "Look, I just want to make sure you're okay." He uh, he he gently nudges you towards the uh, towards the sauna. He goes, "I'll run you a nice bath. I'll see if we can get that off of your back." Okay. Nah, no, I... no Some... I'm, not, I'm not okay with it. <laughs> Sorry, someone needs to Photoshop Divi's face on The Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna. Before, I'm gonna. Well, gonna... you can say anything, Dimmy. He uh, he starts walking off and goes to prepare the bath. You're stood here, staring in front of you at this sauna door. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Let me out. I don't want anything to do with this. You're gonna leave? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna leave. Oh god. You uh you walk back downstairs to your party. <laughs> Jim Rath, what are you doing? I thought you were gonna take a nice steamy bath with your new buddy. Uh he said he wanted Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't got linen stuck to my back, have I? So I'm yeah. I'm all good, mate. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I got I got these medals. Are you sure? To prove it. Just saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If, so you're you're sure. if you get wet with your linen, can we test this? Are you gonna be like a sponge? Like, will it just like stick to your back? <laughs> will you just like hold on to water like a sponge? I mean, it's pretty strong glue, isn't it? There's only one way to find out, Dimmy. Get your get your ass yeah, back I'm, up there. I'm not doing it. As I'm you, not doing um, it. I'm not as, as you guys, it. Uh, as you guys are talking about this, Marcus comes out with the uh, with a two-handed tray full of ointments. Um, Oh my god. What appears to be some bath bombs. Um, <laughs> and uh, and lots of things that you may actually find removes the glue. He's got a he's got a couple of magical items on that uh, on that tray as well that appear to be glowing. You don't know what they are though. A pneumatic anus destroyer. <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the whole tavern. That's oh. it. I'm, I'm done. Timmy, come on. No, I'm not getting Dimmy, bummed. You can Dimmy, fix I'm your back, mate. Bummed. You don't want to be linen back forever, do no, you? No. Yeah. Dimmy, he um he he hears you he hears you saying this as he basically comes up behind you and he hears you talking about getting bummed, and he uh, <laughs> and he laughs <laughs> he laughs and uh, says you dim wrath. <laughs> that's uh that's, that's very very nice of you to assume that, but uh, unfortunately you're not my type. I, I just want help, please. Dimrath, look, if he tries to bum you, you will destroy him. So, like, you know, don't worry okay, about it, mate. Okay, okay. All right, all right. But the minute he does anything weird, I'm shooting him with a crossbow. <laughs> yeah, he goes, I, I can hear you. Violence is uh, violence is strictly forbidden in the tavern, as I'm well, sure you know. Don't be weird then, mate. Don't be weird. Then we, we can get on. Yeah. Have you ever tried you to fire a it. crossbow while being fully soaked up? <laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs> Don't try and talk him out yeah. of it, Kaz. Look, he's he's gone for it. Let's encourage him. <laughs> yeah. He lets out a he lets out a little sigh and uh, and he takes you upstairs, Demi. Uh, you're basically in front of the sauna again. While he goes into the other room and starts preparing a bath. You're gonna go into the sauna. I'm gonna string my crossbow first. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm you gonna... uh, you string your crossbow. Yeah. I'm Unfortunately, gonna... Demi, you can't take your crossbow into the sauna. Because I won't. It will I'll get destroyed. It is wooden. I'll leave it by the door, though. Strong. Yeah. So you leave it strung by the door. You uh, you strip down into your uh, into your linens and uh, and you head into the sauna. With uh, you put a little towel on your lap. And yeah, Marcus quickly <laughs> peeks his head in behind you, and he uh, he quickly grabs up the the ladle, picks up some water, and puts it on the stones, turning up the heat a little bit. <laughs> no, so there this he is. is happening. <laughs> Won't be just a moment as he uh, as he goes off to the other room. <laughs> oh, right, whilst that's happening, what do you guys want to do? Is the arch still in the building? The arch is right in front of you. Oh, okay. As long as he's here, I stay. <laughs> um, I want to eavesdrop on the Norse twats speaking. Yeah. 
So I'm just going to eavesdrop. I'm just going to people watch a little bit. So um, I, I take there's there's a crowd of four in the center of the tavern. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with one exceptionally handsome pair, um, <laughs> one with a pair of very large ears protruding from the top of his head, <laughs> and one that appears to be blind. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna people watch a little bit, catch a little yep. bit of conversation here or there. You're gonna take a seat here. Have a, have a nice layback, listen to yeah, what's going on around Yeah, that's a good vantage point, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you, um, you have a listen. Make a perception check for me. 14. 14. You, uh, you hear the Norse cunts talking about, um, <laughs> about how AV7 is, uh, is basically indestructible. And, uh, and how they get diced every single game. But they're just laughing. They're having fun. You know, playing a bit of what appears to be Blood Bowl. To your knowledge, you are uh, you see a lonely fellow uh, sitting across the uh, sitting basically across from you on a on a large long table uh, on his own. He's not saying much; he's just staring down into in, into his drink. Everything else in the tavern appears to be normal, apart from there are uh, two shaded figures down by the uh, bottom. They appear to be wearing sunglasses indoors, which is uh, which is a little bit odd. They appear to be scanning their surroundings, not saying much really. Are they drinking? They're not drinking, surprisingly. Can I look at Theach and say, "Hey, let's go, let's go get those people a drink. They look like they don't belong here. So let's let's do some investigating." <laughs> yep. He says, "Shall we go?" Yeah. He looks over to you, Jim, as you're blocking the path, and he goes, "Are you coming?" Yes. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tilts his head at you inquisitively. <laughs> yes, I mean. yes, yes. I'll I'll come and look at these guys with you. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> I know I'm I'm pretty drunk. As I'm going past this guy in his own, I'll be like, "Hello, how are you? Sat on your own, mate." <laughs> yeah, he seems disinterested. He uh, he looks up at you, grunts, and then looks back down a little bit. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? He's a, he's a little bit tired at the moment, it appears. He's got large bags under his eyes. Most dice man in the pub. What a tragedy. It's true. It's true. <laughs> so you, uh, you make your way around. You squeeze past here. And I'm assuming you guys are coming with, yeah? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> so you make your way over to the table. These uh these two don't say a word, they just stare up at you intently. I see you guys aren't drinking, why aren't you drinking? We don't drink. Well why are you in a pub then? Yeah. It's a good question. There are many reasons, but why are you in the pub? Well, as drinking. you can see from this fucking mastodon tusk filled with Malibu, I'm getting fucking hammered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they look over to you and go, I can see that. Well done, as they give you a little sarcastic clap. Thank you. Anything else I can help you with, adventurers? Mm. Anything you can help us with? <laughs> Creepy people in a tavern? <laughs> They, uh, they sigh, stand up, and uh, and start to slowly make their way to the exit without yeah. saying anything to you. Yeah, you'd better yeah. fucking run. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he turns back. He hears you say that and goes, what did you say? I said, you'd better fucking run, mate. Sling your what, what did you say, skin job? <laughs> uh -oh. What skin As job? He, he, comes over, he comes over and slaps the mastodon tusk out of your hand. Oh, it's on. Oh. It's on, motherfucker. Daka, daka, daka. <laughs> You, you spilt my pint. <laughs> you fucking knock my pint out. You're getting my cock in, right in your face. The uh, the other one, the two, puts his hand on his shoulder and goes, "It's not worth it," and uh, and slowly pulls him away. He can't see the he can't see the chicken. Can he? Can't see the chicken. No, he doesn't know how close he was. He doesn't know how close he was to getting his eyes pecked out. Lucky bastard. I'll shout the you, lucky bastard, to... as after them. <laughs> they, they hear it. <laughs> the Atcha uh, starts to remark about how weird that encounter was and uh, and finds it a bit weird as to why there would be two gentlemen just sitting in a in a tavern not drinking. Should we follow them? I want to follow them. I want to I kill these guys. I just want to kill them. 
I just want to kill them. What do you say, Patea? Do you want to kill these guys? You know, as much as I would like to, we're part of the festivities. Happening. There's only two of them. I can kill them myself. Are you are you going? Like, is there any way to stop you? I'm, I don't think so. I think I want to kill these guys. <laughs> as you're uh, as you're talking about this and you're walking outside, you peek your head around and they are they are completely gone. Ugh. You took too long discussing it, and they uh, they meandered off. Scumbags, right? De <laughs> demon cock can go back to the demon realm. No problem. I see. He's not needed really. Well, I'll give him a drink. I'll give him a drink in Malibu. Oh, I've, I've, they knocked it out of my hand. He can lick it up off the floor. Oh, he just starts licking it up off the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he can go. As back this to is the going, demon realm. as this is going on, we uh, <laughs> hand back up to Dimrath, who's uh, who's enjoying himself in the, in the lovely sauna. Oh, moment. good. As this nice bath is being prepared, Marcus pops his head back around the corner and he goes, Are we all set? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he takes you to a, another room, Dimrath. And it's, uh, it's a very nice room. It appears oh. to be Marcus's quarters. <laughs> From what you can see, you, uh, you look on the door as you go through and it says Marcus on the door. There's a very nice bathtub. Uh, in there. It's a very nice circular round bath. I'd say it's about <laughs> how many liters? I'd say it's about two, three hundred US gallons. So it's a big tub, right? You could easily sink into it and uh, and have a nice relaxing time. Um, there's a nice bed in the corner. Some nice photos and some incense burning. It's a, it's a very pleasant room. <laughs> As you're uh, as you're walking through, you've uh, you've got your you've got your linens on at the moment. It's strapped to your you know, you've got your uh, you've got the linens strapped to your back as well with glue. <laughs> and uh, he he gestures you with uh, with his arm over to the bathtub. Please, Dimra. All right, can I take my crossbow with me? <laughs> uh, at this point, unfortunately, your crossbow is still sitting outside the sauna. All right. All right, all right, I'll go. I'll go through the bath. Same as all your, uh, same as all your plate armor, and uh, and things like that. You are essentially defenseless, but you know you're a, you're a big burly half orc. So you think in your mind, if he tries anything, you could snap his neck quite easily. Yeah, you'll easily beat him off if anything goes wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go through the bath. You um, you take a you take a step into the bath, and it's just very nice and very warm water. There are some bubbles in the bath as well, Dimmy. As uh, as Marcus comes up behind you and starts to inspect the linen, he goes, "Ah, what 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 happened here? Tell me the story." Oh, it's too long. As he starts running his uh, his hand across the linen, <laughs> your back, you can uh, you can say... feel his warm hand press through the linen. <laughs> just gonna say, can you can can we hurry up and get this over with? He sighs and goes, "These uh these things take time." I assume this uh, this glue is of uh, a magical nature. It is. Uh... Mm. Let me uh. Let, let me see what I have. Let me see what I have. As he uh, as, as he looks through his tray of uh, of ointments and things, and uh, he tosses a bath bomb into the bath. He goes, "Well, I uh, well I figure out what's going on. Have a have a play with this. It's a nice bath bomb. It's uh, it's got rose petals, Dimmy, in it." <laughs> rose petals and chamomile tea smelling absolutely lovely it turns the bath a nice vibrant purple as it fizzes in your hands he goes are you having a good time Dimrath? uh no not really i kind of want to leave size over you well give give me a minute to remove this and let me see what i can do as he uh, as he basically dims the uh, dims the lights a little bit and uh, and prepares some ointments on his tray, <laughs> you uh, you feel him slowly start to pour an ointment down your back, Dimmy, as it seeps its way in between the linen and your back, and you slowly start to feel the linen release off of your back cool. as it slowly peels off like a, like, like snake skin essentially. Oh. Thank you. Um, it, it is very painful. The uh, the skin underneath it is very red, 
and it's uh, it's been damaged quite a lot. And he goes, let let me see if I can uh, let me see if I can get something for the pain. As he uh, as he pulls out a small vial of this silvery liquid, puts uh, a small squirt of it into his hand, and starts rubbing it onto your back. <laughs> Is this, uh, is this soothing? Does this help a little bit? Uh, yeah, it feels a little bit better, thank you. <laughs> this is going on. He starts to move his hands up to your uh, he starts to move his hands up to your shoulders, Dimmy, and starts massaging you. And he uh, goes, <laughs> "No worries, I'm uh, I'm an expert. I've uh, taken many a massage course down at the uh, down at the local local academy. Allow me to uh, ease your pain." As he pulls out a, he pulls out a sponge as well and starts cleaning the blood off your back, very carefully, avoiding uh, causing you any sort of pain if possible. So, uh, how did you, how how did you come down here to, uh, how did you make your way to Fandolin? You don't see many Harcourt types down here. As he uh, as he lifts up your left arm and starts to uh, to clean under your arm. You know what, mate? I'm, I'm just gonna leave. I'm done. I'm gonna <laughs> get up. I'm gonna walk out the room. I'm gonna find my clothes, and that's it. I'm done. <laughs> he uh, he sees you start to get up out of the uh, out of the bath. He goes, "I'm I'm sorry. Did I did I do anything to offend?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he lets out a sigh as you uh, as you walk out the bathroom. <laughs> essentially, as you walk out of his room. So I'm. Um, you collect yeah. your clothes. <laughs> is the linen out though now? Or only some the linen's of off. The linen's off. The linen's <laughs> off. Good. There we go. Right. So you Jimmy reckon? really did stop his grinning and drop the linen. Jimmy, <laughs> <laughs> your uh, your back, by the way, is still not healed. It is in a lot of pain. You basically got raw skin um, underneath your uh, underneath your armor. Uh, and as you're as you're moving, you're in a significant amount of pain. He's walking like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can he heal himself with his magic? <clears throat> um, he can try. I mean, some things because the skin is technically there; it just needs time to heal. It's uh, it's a little bit different to uh, to other kinds of injuries. The only way to heal something like this is with a is with a long rest for a day or so. Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, like, Marcus. Yeah. Oh, Marcus and his magic hands. <laughs> I'm not doing that, Jim. I'm not doing it. I'm not. <laughs> so we're gonna go somewhere for a long rest. You're gonna go up to your room. <laughs> yeah, I'll do. Have I got a room here? Yeah. Yeah, you got a room. You got a room. I'll go for a long rest. Um, you uh, you go up to your room and uh, you expect door, it to I be. Don't... You, you expect it to be absolutely destroyed as uh, as last time you guys got very drunk and you uh, passed out on the floor and you uh, you let out some excrement and such. But to your surprise, the room is sparkling clean with a nice minty fresh smell. And you go and look over at your uh, your bed linen, your bed rolls, Dimmy, and there was a uh, there was a little a little note from Marcus on it that was obviously uh, it was obviously put there yesterday because you guys haven't been back to your room yet. <coughs> What do you want to do with it? Burn it and lock the door and go for a long rest. Is what I'm doing. So you uh you spark up a you spark up a light. You get out your tinder and you just start burning it, looking at the uh, looking at the note as it burns away. And uh, yeah, you're uh you you take a nice rest, Timmy. Thank you. You curl up in bed. You got any candles? What? How have uh, you got your bed set up? Um. To be fair, my, I'm in so much pain, I just collapse onto it and uh, fall into a deep, long sleep. <laughs> nice. On his own. <laughs> yeah, so with the door locked. Yeah, I was going to say, locked. make sure you lock the door. <laughs> yeah. so you, uh, you guys walk over back over to your uh, back over to your seats. Oh, my God. And uh, you see Marcus coming down the stairs, all, uh, all glum looking. With his uh, with his tray of ointments. What's up, Marcus? Ah, uh, nothing, nothing. Don't worry about it. You uh, you you try to do nice things for people, and they uh. Oh, sometimes they just don't want it. It is what it is. Are you talking about Dimra, Marcus? 
yeah, he notices you as you uh, as you look over and go. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I uh, I saw he's in significant pain, so I just I wanted to help him, but some people don't want to be helped. He's a bit old school, I think, right? And he likes forward rolls as well. He's you know a bit particular like that. Um, how did you try to help him? Well, I uh, I tried to remove the uh, the linen off of his back and uh, rub in some ointments to make sure that the skin healed up properly. I assume he's in quite a bit of pain at the moment. The skin is all red and raw underneath. So I uh, I honestly don't know how he's pushing through the pain. I guess it's uh, I guess it's that half orc blood. It's a desperate shame he uh, refused your help. But do you have any more of that ointment left? <laughs> He, uh, he looks over at you and gives you a little smile. Oh, I have, uh, I have plenty. I have plenty. <laughs> cool. What are you? What, what? What are you looking for? What you got? Mm. Are we? Uh... Yeah. He looks over at you and makes sure nobody's listening. We uh, we talking special ointments or are we talking ointments and balms to soothe you? What are you? Well, what, you know... what are you looking for? What does your heart desire? Yeah. Uh, part of my dojo is to be open to all kinds of possibilities in watching, so let's go for the special. He um he walks over to you and he, uh, he sees your drink. He pulls out a little vial from one of his pockets and uh, and puts a couple of drops of this this mysterious liquid into your drink. I'm so <laughs> getting uh, goes, goes enjoy and slaps you on the slaps you on the back. Do we see this happen? You see it happen. Nice one, Yo, Marcus. Marcus. Marcus, come on. Congrats, Marcus, Cobra. Uh, <laughs> Marcus, Marcus <laughs> says to you, it's uh, it's it's potent stuff. Just uh, make sure you take a seat for a couple of hours. Okay. Oh my god. Are you guys calling Marcus over? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm calling Marcus over. <laughs> Train wants a piece of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you, just pour it all in, love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I, can I, can I get some of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of that. Uh, you don't even. Yeah, you don't looks, even know what it is, but on his shoulder. Trend well, doesn't look on his shoulder. <laughs> it looks like you just roofied Kaz. So can I, can I get a little whatever? He, he hushes you down and goes, keep, keep your voice down. Well, yeah. if you want me to he, shut he up, you better give me some. For some of this special ointment, you want some? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, he sighs, pulls out the dropper, and puts three drops into your drink. Just make sure you sit down for a couple of hours. I'll uh, I'll bring you over some refreshments. Marcus, what exactly what is it? Down. Exactly what is it, Marcus? So it's a special ointment. Wait, what? but what happens if I don't sit down? What does it do, exactly, Marcus? Well, I uh, he laughs at you and goes, "Well, I doubt you'll be able to stand up in, uh, like in thirty minutes." That doesn't seem like something somebody would want, yet here two of that them have taken like it voluntarily. That sounds like a challenge. Some might say they're flipping idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Count me in! <laughs> As uh, Marcus, what he ends up doing is he uh, he pulls out the vial again, Jim, and he, uh, he goes, how much do you want? Uh, three, I'll have three as well. Three, you seem subtly put four drops into your drink, Jim. It's no problem. <laughs> a, uh, a big man like yourself surely requires uh, a few more drops. Yes? Yeah, that's reasonable. As he, uh, as he walks back over, <laughs> he taps you on the back, Kaz, and says, you should, uh, you should probably go and join your friends. I will. <laughs> Marcus makes his way back to the kitchen. Oh, what do you guys want to do? Well, we, we ain't getting up, are we? At this point, <laughs> at, at this point, you've uh, you've Literally noticed bottoms up. <laughs> you've, yeah. you've noticed Dimmy go missing, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's to you. Here's to me. Best friends will always be. If we ever disagree, then fuck yeah. you. And here's to me. <laughs> Buzz on. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm assuming you guys put back your drink. You noticed as well. You put uh, you put a couple of uh, a couple of drops on his uh, his tongue as well oh, before wow. he left. Fucking down it then. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Fiat at this point sees what's going on. He says, "I uh, I, I bid you uh, I bid you a good evening. Unfortunately, I uh, have to go and sort some things." Oh, 
Were I'll you, see you this evening. Back? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that Theatre Marcus? Theatre. Theatre. Okay, I say goodbye, my brother, and I stand up to let him out of the booth. As uh, as you're standing up, <laughs> he um, he starts walking past you, and he notices the shawl that you're wearing. And uh, he suddenly gets enraged and basically pins you up against the wall by your by your shoulder, and goes, "Where did you get this?" I found it in the in the keep. I yeah, me, and Jim, starts... me and Jim are going to be standing up at this point, saying, "Oi, don't start yeah. on my mate, mate." Yeah, right? yeah, you're not my mate, mate. <laughs> yeah, you're not my whoa, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Calm the fuck down, dragon bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he starts to get he starts to get visibly angry, and you see steam start to uh, start to come from his from his from his uh, his nose. He's uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. he's slowly angering. What? What? You shouldn't have here? this. Why not? He uh, he sighs as he uh, as he notices Kaz and uh, and Jim coming over and drops you down again. Yeah, do we have a problem here or what? No, uh, no problem. I I apologise. His uh, his his mood starts to to lighten a little bit, and uh, okay. he goes, "Apologies. I'll uh, I'll see you this evening." Yes. Before you go, uh, what's the deal? What's the deal then with this dragon mantle thing? It's a, it's a long story. Unfortunately, there are, there are some of us, some of us Dragonborns, who are, uh, who are not so nice people. And uh, this, unfortunately, is, uh, is a symbol of that. Mm. As he, uh, he puts his head down and walks away. Mm. Well, I can pretty much get... Oh, he's walked away. Damn it. I was about to say, you can pretty much guarantee that Tren didn't mean any offence. Because let's be fair... She's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hears you say this, and he uh, he turns around and goes, "You you need to get rid of that, please." Mm. As he uh, as he walks off. Wow, wow, that's tough. That's going to be a tough ask. And there's no way there's no way Patea's parting with that. <laughs> Interesting. Boy, howdy. Right. So, what are you guys doing now? I'm, I, I'm going to look at Jim and go, I wonder how Dimra's doing. I, he would have gone to bed, mate. Uh, Marcus said he was being a lot of In the fetal position, crying himself to yeah, sleep. Yeah, <laughs> probably, probably. No, no one Dimra, he probably got a bit fucking pissed off with Marcus. He's probably stormed out, crashed in his bed. He don't want anything to do with anyone. I bet if you go and check, his room would be locked, honestly. I wouldn't be bothered, mate. Plus, we're yeah, fucking getting probably, smashed, yeah. aren't we? We're getting smashed. Yeah, Let's just fucking right. go. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. go full send. <laughs> More are drinks. Gonna, uh, are you guys going to go check on him? Or? No, no. I want to. I want to find some twat to arm wrestle. That's what I want to do. Mm. Come on, Jim. Five gold pieces. Any twat? Let's go, him. mate. Who wants to arm wrestle? <laughs> Fucking as, have it. Uh, <laughs> as that's going on, Dimmy, what do you uh, what do you want to do? You're currently just uh, you're lying down in bed in uh, an immense amount of pain. What's uh, what's what, what's going through your mind? I'm, I'm just gonna have a long rest, mate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal myself. Like, I don't yeah. care what they're doing. I'm not interested. You're not gonna come downstairs to the festivities? No, nah, mate. I've had enough of this place. Like, I'm done. Bad <coughs> play. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you guys gonna go for an arm wrestling match? Yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah, there, there's some there's some rowdy dudes in here, right? You know, um, the North Sea Sea Nuns. Oi. North Sea Nuts. Christ, I've only had half an ash, right? <laughs> North Sea Nuts, yeah? You boys look like you're up for a bit of arm wrestling. Oh, Fancy man. taking on, yeah? Jim, they, uh, they love three times you. pan champion of the North wherever fucking wastes. Yeah, you know, his backyard. He'll take you on. Let's go. I'd crush any of these fuckers in an arm wrestle, I'll tell you. They uh, they say, so be it. They, uh, they get up from their table and walk over to you guys. Cute. They, um... For some reason, they they pick up the guy who's sitting alone at the table, oh, no. and basically just toss him back off of the uh, off the bench. Oh, okay, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Poor guy, he's got no mates. And yeah, they keep throwing him around. Yeah, yeah. He walks off. Yeah. He, he walks off and sulks to another table <laughs> as, he, uh, as he nurses his drink. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. I'll take so on the they, fucker uh, in the middle. That blue hat. Who are you guys going to take on? I'm going to take on the one with the blue hat. The one. Are well, you going to take on the toddler in the middle? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you guys going for? Yeah. Do you know what? Don't don't care. Let's have it. Um, I'll take on big guy. Big guy. Big guy. Yeah. What? The one that looks like he possesses an extra leg. Yeah, that dude. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> take on that guy. Seems Lovely. like a fair, seems like a fair match. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Trin, you're uh, you're you're stuck with the last one, the pink pack. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting in on the arm wrestling. Okay. Are you, are you getting in on the arm wrestling? I guess I am now. Here's yeah. an extra opponent yeah. for you. It's Plo. You okay. might as well. You can't lose versus Plo. Might Plo. as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just had some special drops. Let's go. Yeah. He, uh, he. You guys see as you're as you're lining up, he gets Marcus comes out with a tray full of food, and uh, and puts it in between you guys. Um, oh God. In the spare space. There appear to be some really nice things on there. There appear to be some uh, some nice big woolly mammoth uh, ribs. Big big fuck off one for you, Jim. There uh, there appear to be some nice breaded mushrooms as well. Oh, uh, a nice mushrooms. selection, a nice selection of greens, a nice salad as well. Oh, brilliant! So he puts it on the table and gives you guys another drink as well. Anything else I can get for you, gentlemen? As he looks no, thanks, the Marcus. Place. That was very nice of you, though. Lovely fella. It looks like we're eating first. Would you like to break some bread with us, boys? So uh, looking over at the North Sea Nuts. <laughs> they, uh, they they don't appear to speak in much English. Um, but they basically they raise up their beer steins uh, up in the air, clank them together, and they uh, they start breaking up the food and handing it to you guys as well. Good luck. Cool. As you guys start eating away, it's causing a bit of a commotion, but it's a it's a nice, lively atmosphere in the bar at the moment. You uh you hear you hear glasses being smashed. You hear uh you hear people talking of their uh, day to day lives, and you guys are just having a generally nice time. Lovely, lovely. Sounds like the best part of a tabletop event, to be honest. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. yeah. The only, the, oh, some might say the only good part of a tabletop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. You um, you see Marcus basically come past you guys again and walk upstairs. Oh, as this is uh, as this is going on. Oh. Yeah, he bangs on your door, Dimrath. I'm asleep. Uh, Dimrath, <laughs> are you in there? Don't answer. As he uh, knocks on the door. Don't answer. Yeah, he knocks harder again. Dimrath. No, yes, yeah, he starts. He starts talking to himself, and he goes, I, "I, I meant nothing, nothing from before. I promise. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. Please, come out and uh, come out and enjoy the festivities with us. Wouldn't be the same without you." I'm gonna just not reply and carry on my long rest. Yeah. <laughs> He sighs as he's, uh, as he's not getting any response, and uh, you hear him put down a tray of something outside the door for you. As he walks back downstairs and goes back into the kitchen. I'll have a little look. <laughs> you get up? That's right. He's, um, he's left you a, uh, a nice tankard full of that limited edition lemon Budweiser. <laughs> And he's uh, he's left you what appears to be some hot wings, <laughs> with it uh, with it on the side. Okay, I'll I'll put them in the room. I'm not gonna drink or eat them. I'll lock the door. I'll back to my long rest. <laughs> Fair enough. What um, kind of monster t t turns down hot wings? Oh, no. What kind of monster? I'm, oh, wait, I'm not getting I'm not getting yeah. drugged. I'm yeah, getting they drugged. could be drugged. Anything I'm, could be drugged. I'm, I'm not. I'm 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 waiting until the next. Place we go to. <laughs> to be fair, you guys, you guys are going to be here. For, uh, you guys bummed. are going to be here for the rest of the night. I'm not. Uh... <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. Uh, I feel like I feel like Kaz felt like with his werewolf. <laughs> it's, it's like I don't know. Out of, out of, out of, out of game, Dimmy. He's not actually trying to bum you, mate. God. That's yeah. That's the thing. He's not actually trying to bum you. Yeah, he said he wasn't your type. You heard him say it was obviously your character didn't, but you heard him talk to us saying that you know it, not, it didn't mean anything. It's okay. It's yeah. okay, Dimmy. It's Nobody's trying to bum you, Dimmy. There's no Nobody's way we're bumming. Bum Don't worry. 
He genuinely just wanted to make sure you were okay and gave, tried to give you a nice bath. Yeah, he just wanted to me. get to know you better, didn't he? <clears throat> no, I don't, I don't need to get to know you as well. <laughs> Fair enough. <sighs> so yeah, you uh, you guys finish up your food. They uh, they're getting very rowdy these Norse cunts, and they uh, they toss the uh, the plates off of the table. Let's go. And, uh, and they put their arm onto the table. Over the top. Uh, three of you start making a, a strength check for me. Um, before that. Yep. So we're level three, aren't we? Yes. Okay, I chose arcane trickster. And for one of my sp cantrips, I chose Frostbite. So can I start mm -hmm. making my hand very, very, very cold? Oh, wow. Genius. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty so Dino. I my Frostbite cantrip. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you do that and your, uh, your hand starts to chill. As uh, steam or well, water vapor starts to emanate from it. Okay. Alright, you guys going for the arm wrestling, yeah? Yep. Right. So we'll let me roll four dice. Right, what are your what are your rolls? Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh Jim, you are just about tying with the uh with the Norseman in front of you. With a nineteen? What a dickhead. You are he's just about space tying cadet. In front of you. He is very strong, Jim. He's uh, he's pulling and pulling, and you're pulling against each other. You start to see a vein popping from his head as he's, uh, he's pulling against you. Kaz, what did you get? Oh, you're muted. <laughs> I rolled a straight twenty. You rolled a straight twenty. You uh, how 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 does the fight end? How does the uh, how does the arm wrestle end? I show a bit of mercy, right? These these boys seem pretty good fun. So I'm not going to smash his arm down and tear his shoulder out of the socket or break his arm. So, you know, I'm just I'm just looking I'm just looking table leg in the eyes and I'm like, "You're good, but it's not today, son. <laughs> not today." <laughs> uh. Uh. He, uh, he looks at you completely astonished. The rest of the bar goes uh, completely silent as you push his hand down to the table. All the, uh, all the music in the bar stops as well as he starts staring at you. What a badass. It was never in my, uh, never in my days have I been beaten in an arm wrestle. You, sir, are the first. As he, uh, as he raises his glass up into the air and starts cheering as loud as he can, all the music starts to, uh, starts to go up again. Glorious. And everybody starts cheering and uh, clanking their cups. I'll drink to that, you Norse <laughs> Gren, what did you get? A 15. 15? Uh, you managed to beat him. You push his hand down onto the table. Yes. He, um, he, he looks at his hand as it's, uh, it's been chilled a little bit and uh, looks at it inquisitively and goes, what, what, what's this? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, he shrugs it off and just starts drinking again. Wow. Do I have to make another one? Uh, what do you mean? Another arm wrestle? Well, I mean, you said I drew, drew with him, right? You said I was drawing. Oh, you drew him. Sorry, yeah. go on. Go on, go on. Keep going. Keep going, Jim. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll keep going on. Uh, 17. Jim's a bit sore right now, isn't he? Because he lost to, like, the smallest guy in I'm the world. I know, right? What the fuck? <laughs> 17. Jim, he, uh, he rolls a natural 20, Jim. Motherfucker. And he, uh, he pushes your hand down to the table and starts cheering, and the, uh, the, other, the other two Norse start cheering <laughs> along with him. Me and Trent are looking at Jim right now going, really? <laughs> Look. If I could beat him, you should have beat him. <laughs> I'm drunk. This normally doesn't happen. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> Jim's yeah, obviously he laughs at you. upholding his record against space. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they, they, they Believe it or not, I'd win this arm wrestle six times out of nine, but this was just the one where I lose. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they start grumbling and uh, they shout back to the barkeep. Marcus, another round of drinks, please. As, uh, as Marcus trundles out with his nice tray, plonks some more drinks down in front of you guys. Um, he's swaying back and forth a little bit. He's, uh, he's a little bit uneasy on his feet at the moment. 
as he, as he puts the drinks out. Yeah. Marcus. Well, he's had the, he he's the roofed himself, out, hasn't he? He had a couple of drops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it go time? Wait, I instantly see that and I stand up to see if I'm the same way. <laughs> you, uh, you stand up. It hasn't hit you yet. Make a make a con check for me, all of you, please. Eight. Eight. Jim, uh, your arms are starting to feel like snakes as you're uh, as you're running them across the table. Oh, um, God. You basically run it across the Oh, it was 10. It was 10, actually. I got plus two. I got plus two. I got plus two. It's still the same. You can feel your arms slowly start to uh, slide off the table. Oh, it's a nice, good. pleasant feeling. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Mm, for that. Kaz, what did you get? Uh, 19. Plus two 19. is 21. Um, you feel a little bit more relaxed than you usually would. Um, it doesn't seem to have taken hold of you yet, but uh, you know, you're just you're chilling out for a little bit. Trent, what did you get? And that one. Oh and that one. boy, howdy! <laughs> Trent, you are uh, you are smacked. You're you're done. You're basically <laughs> at this point. You're staring at your hands, and you have really nice hands. From uh, from what you can see, you never notice the the length of your nails are all uniform, and the and the ridges in your fingers all seem to to line up perfectly. So you can't help but just just stare at your hands. <laughs> You don't, you're a bit oblivious to whatever else is going on around you, and you, you start to slow your speech a little bit as you talk. Can I just start, like, twirling? <laughs> you start twirling. You, uh, you, you try and stand up. Make a, make oh, a dex yeah. check for me. Oh, God. Uh, 19. You, uh, you manage to stand up and stabilize yourself a little bit, but you are, you are wobbling back and forth. I'm just wobbling, staring at my hands. <laughs> Pretty much. You uh, you go and notice, Tren. There's a, there's a lovely light on the wall. It's a nice glowing light, a nice amber light. It's very pretty. You're enamored by the light. <laughs> right. What do you guys want to do at this point? Kaz, you seem to be the only one who's somewhat sober. I'm really tempted to start a fight with this Norse scene, to be honest. I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted. You um, you try to lift your arm up, Jim, but you're you're struggling to get it up into the air. Oh, okay. You you pull it up into the air, but it instantly drops back down. You can't hold it up. In that case, I'll be like, needed. "You're all right, you nose. You know, you're all right." <laughs> I I used to not like you, but you're all right. <laughs> they uh they laugh over at you, and uh and the one in the middle, uh, he whispers over to the guy on his left. Yeah, he goes up, picks over the uh, the Blood Bowl board game, and plonks it down on the table in front of you, Jim. <laughs> he, uh, he pulls out a little chest as well. The uh, the other one, the one the purple hat, walks off, and he, uh, he comes back through the back exit with what appears to be a small chest. He, uh, he opens it up, and there's lots of little minifigures in there. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What's yeah, this game, then? You and goes, Your choice. What's this game? What's this game? Uh, so, it's, so it's the mightiest game of all time. It's Blood Bowl. Oh, I tell I'm right, straight away. I'm, I'm Blood gonna, Bowl 1742. I'm going to tell you guys, right? I'll play anyone but the one in the blue hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he laughs over and goes, "No, you're uh, you're you're playing our friend here." As, uh, as he starts arranging his little pieces onto the board, I assume you know the rules, yes? Yeah, of course I do, mate. I'm the best in the world, probably. So you uh, you start to pull out your uh, you start to pull out all your little pieces, and uh, you assume you assume from what you can see, so everything's a little bit blurry in front of you, Jim, at the moment. Yeah. He's uh, he's setting up a Norse team. What are you gonna pick? Oh God, dwarves. Dwarves. Yeah. You uh you get your dwarves and you uh, start <laughs> plonking him on the table. Good. Right. What's happening now? What do you guys want to do? Has well, you can is... see all this going on? Yeah, I just, um, I, I make a comment. This is still better than Blood Bowl 3, isn't it? Oh, good. I'm watching with interest, you know. Um, I didn't maybe make a flipping comment. You know, hey, boys, some people call you, call you C-Nuts. Not me, all right? I think you're sound. I think you're sound. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, actually, they, right, they laugh over you. Yeah, actually, 
I'm, I, I suddenly feel this pang of regret that Dimra's missing all this fun. You know, we're bonding with some weirdos and I, I Tren is snogging a light, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, hear, you, you hear Trent just whispering lamp to herself. I Again. love lamp. <laughs> I love lamp. Lamp. <laughs> Jim, Jim's getting ready to take the nuts off with, uh, with, knack, knack with, like, with fucking dwarves, right? So I think, do you know what, boys? I'm going to go and get Dimra, okay? So, uh,. I, I, uh, where's oh, Marcus is in the kitchen? I looked over to the bar to see if Marcus was there, but he aren't there. So I've, I trundle on upstairs because I, I think I can find Dimra. You know, bang on a few doors, piss a few people off. So, uh, Dimra! You, <laughs> you are you bang on a few doors. You start, you do start to annoy some people. They, uh, they peer out at you, but you do get to Dimra's uh, accommodation. Okay. Bom, 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 bom. Dimmy. Fucking hell, Dimmer I'm going to drink this whole bottle. What are you doing? Cobra. What Cobra? Come on, let's go, let's go. You're missing a good What's... night down here, mate. Honestly, uh... beer's flowing, songs are being sung. <laughs> Jim's about to get done at Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that weird guy gone, is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's gone, he's gone. Right. But listen, right. we had a conversation, all right? And it's purely platonic. He just wanted to help you out. You know, he he's not he's not into you, dude. I hate to break you're... it to you, but he's not into you. Okay? No, you weren't there, mate. You weren't there. It's uh, pretty <laughs> pretty hot and heavy. <laughs> I, I don't think he really had a type, you know. <laughs> to be honest. Well, well, I think he's got the message now, dude. So you know. All right. Come on, All right, okay. come and have a pint, man. Come I am in pint. agony, though, by the way, because my back is like a complete mess. But well, let's hit the showers. I'll... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Marcus, I'll sort you right out. <laughs> you um, you you do have you do have some medical training, Kaz, and you um, you you do know that there are some some balms and uh, ointments that will solve this. Um, you you I, do I you do run downstairs. I also downstairs, have I some ointments, yeah, oh, and some in, and some incense. Just saying, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did oh I hear my you God. Say what is going on? They just want to help you, mate. That's all it is. Nobody's trying to help you. Why does everyone have to have lube and like? It's uh, not lube. It's not lube. Oh, <laughs> Demon sauce from a yagi. Let's go. It's all a bit much. As uh, as this is going on downstairs, uh, Jim, you uh, you lose the coin toss, and you're uh, you're on defence. Yep. And yeah. <laughs> They uh, they roll for a weather and uh, you notice the uh, the blind man the the man who's got his uh, got the sash over his eyes a purple sash he uh, he waves his hand there's a little sparkle and uh, some a small cloud appears over the board and uh, and it starts to rain down on top of it wow all the pieces appear to be miraculously untouched but it does add to the ambience of the game as he uh, as he gives you over a, a little smile and raises his glass. Nice. You find it a bit odd that uh, that he knows where you are and what's going on, even though he has a uh, he has a blindfold on. But you know you, you don't you don't question it too much at this point. You're uh, you're invested in this game. <laughs> okay, let's go then. Make a make, make, make a con check for me, Jim. Again. A con check. Oh dear, the con checks are bad. I think. Oh god. Right. I rolled a five. I've got plus two, seven. Um, you're starting to sway left and right at this point. It's, it's, it's pleasant. It's not a bad swing, you know. What do my hands You're, look uh, like? <laughs> I mean, your hands look like hands, but you can uh, you can feel the skin on your hands. You're okay. you're aware, you're acutely aware of the skin, if that makes sense. Not really, but uh, okay. If everything, Jim, to you is a is a bit. You you notice everything. Everything is a bit hyper intensive. <laughs> You know, you notice the temperature in the bar. You notice the the skin on your hands and the moisture of your hands. You know, you notice the noises that are going on around you. Mm -hmm. I notice there's no you're, scene you're generally in front having of him. A good I really time. want to kill him. I want to kill him so bad. <laughs> oh god, I so want to kill him. It's taking everything so, um, I can not to summon my demon cock and just peck his fucking eyeballs out. So not gonna at the lie, moment, it's uh, I'm, it's I'm raining. So myself. you guys are you guys are setting up your board. 
and the uh, the kickoff event happens, and a rock gets thrown, Jimmy, and uh, it hits your my, death roller. My your, favorite your player. Four, the, your level four death roller. <laughs> my player. favorite player, man. He, uh, he rolls very poorly on the dice and dies. Straight up death. You have no apple. Of course he does. Dice again. Dice again. Average game. <laughs> no apple. They, uh, they they all start laughing and cheering. Oh, I bet they do. I bet they do. As this is going on, Trent, what are you doing? Um, do I notice that the tables that there's rain on the table? You do. Oh, I start climbing onto the table to touch the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> you, start, you, you, uh, you, you start climbing onto the table. They're a bit weirded out by it at first. Did you, um, did you start licking at the air, trying to get some of the get some of the rain? Oh yeah, I do. And I'm just reaching out, like, what's this? This is a cloud in real life. As you're, um, as, as you're going through it, and you're trying to, you're trying to lick the, uh, the rain. You don't feel anything. Your hand just goes straight through it. It's not wet. No difference at all. I start getting angry. <laughs> Good, I'm really fucking angry. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Jimmy angry next to you as well. Uh, Trent, don't interfere with the game, yeah? Come on, let, let, let me play. You can't, you can't say anything, Cobra. You're upstairs, mate. You're upstairs. Oh, shit. shit. What, yeah, are, you, so what are you guys doing upstairs? Well, I'm trying to entice Dimmy down. Dimmy, <laughs> you're about to miss the biggest Blood Bowl game I mean, in centuries. Is he, is he playing the guy in the blue hat? <laughs> yeah, his arch nemesis. Oh, I gotta see this. I gotta see the this. angry toddler himself. This is the only thing that's gonna get me out of this bed. This, uh, <laughs> this game. All right, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. So I'm you, are, you slowly pull yourself up. Are you grabbing your hot wings, then? Mm, no. <laughs> Share them with everyone, Jimmy. That's the best bit. <laughs> Actually, I'll bring them. I'll bring them and I'll put them on the table. For you bring in the hot wings down, yeah. Yeah, I'll bring the hot wings. And I'll put them on the table. So uh, you guys, you guys trundle down. You see Tren basically on her on her arms and knees on the table, trying to lick this plant. <laughs> Um, it doesn't exist. Cobra, why have you brought me down to this? <laughs> what is going on? This is Casual somehow the most believable part of the whole situation. <laughs> roll, roll a con check. Hey, me? Yeah. 13. But it's just starting to hit you. Uh, you are, you start Dimmy, swaying left Dimmy and right, and you start to slow a little bit. Since I come and got you and brought you back downstairs, this situation's slightly degenerated a little bit. Okay, oh, just saying. Wow. Um, don't quite know what Trent's doing, but Trent, <laughs> what are you doing? The, the, flat, what is, the water, I want the water. But it's, it's like magical pretend water. You ain't drinking nothing, you're just getting in the way of the game. You're gonna knock those miniatures and you can make the situation even worse for Jim, yeah? He's in a bad <laughs> enough trouble as it is, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's a cloud, it's a cloud on top, it's on top of the table. Like, this is so cool, Cal. <laughs> but what about the you lamp? Are, you, you, you pull her back by the, uh, by the scrap of her cloak yeah. off, the, uh, <laughs> off the table. Poke her out, Kaz. No, that's coming. All right, that's coming. That's coming. We know that's coming, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Come on. I just just put like a friendly arm around train. Come on. Let's just watch the game. Or under, you sitting under down, the chin. Jim. Under the chin. <laughs> friendly. Jimmy, you, friendly you sit down, Jim, yeah? Yeah, I'll take a seat. I'll take a seat. I'll take a seat. Oh, I've got to see this game. Put you, put you down there next to him. So there you go. The uh, the game starts going on. Marcus brings over some more drinks. He uh, he plonks them down the table, and then uh, slightly to you, Dimrath, he says, "Look, I'm I'm sorry about earlier." Is he uh, is he takes he takes your hand quickly, opens it up, and puts a vial into your hand, and goes, "Go apply this onto your back later, and it uh, it should fix everything up within about ten fifteen minutes." Okay. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. He gives you a he gives you a hearty thump on the uh, on your right shoulder. No hard feelings. No hard feelings, Marcus. Yeah, he, uh, he, he grabs I'll, I'll you. I'll tell you after he, I've he put goes, the vial. He goes for a high five. <laughs> <laughs> he goes he goes for a high five and walks off. <laughs> you guys now have another round of drinks. Are you uh, you guys drinking? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> 
so it's, so yeah uh, the um the game starts dice. going on it's uh it's a one-sided dicing at this point jim we're six turns oh, in and you're uh you're eight Four players down, down. <laughs> you're, you're, eight, you're, you're, you're eight players down and you're uh you're <laughs> you've uh you've lost two touchdowns already jim unfortunately all right i smash the tip i smash my hand my fist on the table and i'm like fuck this you As lucky motherfucker on, make a contract we're having a fight. Uh, there's no way. There's no turning back. Okay, I didn't roll a one. Eight. <laughs> ten, ten. Jim, you're, ten. Uh, Jim you're, you're, you're struggling. You smash your hand down onto the table, and you're a little bit out of breath at this point. No problem. I, I don't think you could fight him, but uh, you are having a good time, Jim. Well, daka, daka, daka. Daka, daka, daka. It's out. So oh. you're, uh, it's out. Your demon cock appears. It's out. And I'm like, quietly, so no one notices. Very, no one will notice this. Out here or what? Hey, demon cock. They're not watching. Run over the table and knock all the miniatures over. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he looks back up at you inquisitively and uh, he doesn't understand what you're saying, Jim. To everybody else around you, you're just slurring your speech at this point. <sighs> He doesn't, I know what he that sounds like. What's what Dim's on. actually, what Jimmy's actually saying is, I fucking love you, man. <laughs> you know what he's saying to me, fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> Dim and uh, Dim, Dim and Cock comes and sits next to you, Jim, and, uh, and cuddles up next to you, oh, putting his head nice. on your lap. Oh, that's nice. I'll just sit here stroking my cock. <laughs> Give him a nice pet. <laughs> Um, at this point, everybody, the, the night's kind of quietening down a bit. Everybody starts filtering out the bar. Um, you guys start playing late into the night. Oh, I'd say it's about one o'clock in the morning at this point. Okay. Lock in. Also, Lock in. Oh yeah. When did they close? Do we know when they close? They closed about an hour ago. Oh, okay. So maybe maybe we should look for a. I mean, my character couldn't be thinking this, but for the other people present in the uh, in real life, maybe we should be thinking about. Fiath, Fiath. I don't even know what his name is. Yeah. Maybe we should think about, uh, you know, somebody else should think of that because obviously I'm in no fit state too. <laughs> you um, you see Marcus slowly going around and clearing off the tables, and uh, and yeah, ev everything is slowly cleaned up. And uh, the Norse slowly make their way out of the bar. They pack up their miniatures after the game. Unfortunately, you lost the game, Jim. Uh, I think you lost fifteen to zero in the game. It was uh, it was a very one-sided dicing. You had no chance there, unfortunately. All but one of your players died, and uh, the player that didn't die was niggled. So, you know, so, you can't battle, you can't bro win battle brothers then. <laughs> yeah. You so look, the, you uh, escape with a, your life. You Norse see not. The uh, the Norsemen they uh, they walk out and it was uh, it was a good time. At this point, the uh, the lights start to dim and uh, Marcus goes, "Right, you lot, come with me." All right, as good. he uh, as he takes I was, you around I was about back. To say, we need we need to uh, see Marcus. <laughs> you guys mind. following him? <laughs> yeah, I'm following. Yeah. I I mean, we got to go see, see the dragon dude or Trenton. No, 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 uh, no. We Marcus round the back. Trust me. I'm staring at the chair to my right, just like, wow, that is a nice chair. <laughs> <It's> a nice <laughs> chair. <laughs> Look at the quality of this woodworking. It's beautiful. You can see the grains in the wood. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, dear. This, so, this, is, this is really difficult being drunk, by the way, talking about wood. Just saying. It is. Continue. So you are you guys following Marcus? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Trent, I'm assuming you're stumbling over, yeah? Sure. Dimmy, Jim? Yep. Yeah, but I'm going to be right at the back. I'm going to... Like, I'm going to be more at the back because I can't even no, walk no, in a straight drunk. line. You're drunk, man. I you're can't drunk. walk in a straight line. I'm definitely going to be at the back. I'll probably fall oh, no. over three times in the They're way. Over the back goes, show me the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm smashed. <laughs> I'm smashed. I'm gone. So you, um, you guys make your way outside and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, you see Thiach and uh, and a cloaked figure with uh, with those shades on again from earlier, and they uh, they appear to be outside smoking some pipes. This is the same guy. This is the same, same guy. guy as before. 
Are you saying this, this out is, loud? Yeah, this is the same guy as before. This, out loud and goes, this is the yes, same guy as before. I am the same guy as before. Fuck you oh, doing? I, yeah, he crosses his arms and leans back against the uh, the wall and says, "You uh, you guys have something that belongs to uh, an associate of mine. I'd, uh, I'd I'd kindly like it back, if that's possible." <laughs> What are you talking uh, about? Knowingly, he looks over at you, Kaz, and you uh, you put two and two together, and you know he's talking about the puzzle box. What are you talking about, mate? I have no idea what you're talking about. He sighs and goes, "Look, we can uh, we can do this one of two ways: the easy way or the hard way." What do you want? Oh, do? we could do this one of one way, mate. <laughs> and you ain't gonna enjoy it one little bit. <laughs> Believe me, there's only one way this is going down, and you are fucked. <laughs> Marcus, uh, Marcus looks over to you and uh, puts his hand on your shoulder and goes, "You should, uh, you should probably listen to what he says." Right. I may or may not have what you're looking for. Why is it so important to you? Unfortunately, my uh, as he's uh, he's looking down at his nails, my uh, my client doesn't want to uh, to give that information. It's withheld, but you will be. How should we say? Compensated handsomely for it. My sword is yeah, out. We... There, yeah, he tosses of... he tosses over to you a bag before you can even interject of about four hundred gold coins. My sword is sheathed. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> Every man it's has a, their it's price. A big, it's a big fuck off bag full of uh, full of coin. I really should have inspected what was in this box, shouldn't I? <laughs> um. If you remember from earlier, as you were trying to look through it, it is locked. Yeah, yeah, it's like magic. A magical binding. Yeah. Magical lock. 100 okay. gold each. I'm. Look, we, we've still got enemies out there, okay? A guy nearly did us back in the old dungeons, and. Not just you, Kaz. Hey! And I'm, I, I'm a little bit reluctant to give her a box to a potential enemy right now. A good point. Regardless of cash value. 100 gold each, oh, though. Can't you do, like, some check to see... Oh, you, like... I mean, what, you mean you if somebody a, had... Make, make a deception check. evil. No, do, do, you know, do you know what it is? Like, do you even know what it is? I, I, Dimrath. Like... Dimrath. Dimrath. Detect evil, mate. Detect evil. What? On who? The box or the geezer? The geezer. The geezer with the shears. Detect evil. Can I, can I, all right, can I detect evil on the guy with the shades? Um, for this one, you're going to need to make a d20 roll for me, please, Dim. A d20. Oh. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's not Sorry. evil from what, he's not evil from what you can tell. Yeah, it's fine, that's Cobra. I mean, 400 gold, mate. That's like a hundred gold each. All right. C can this guy hear everything I say? How far away is he? He goes, "Yes, I can hear everything you're saying." <laughs> I wasn't asking him. I was asking the DM. <laughs> How far away is he? Could, like, you know. Um, he's he's about three, four meters. Oh, okay, so he could hear everything. Yeah, yeah he can hear everything. I, I want to take the money and slot him. That's what I want to do. <laughs> but I can't say it, can I? So I just gotta, I just gotta do it basically. Daka daka daka. You're right. Your see. demon cock appears, Jim. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, he, uh, he looks up at you. Jimmy's getting ready for a throw down, isn't he? I want I mean, Marcus, Marcus. I don't trust always... this. I'm gonna tell you all now. I don't trust this motherfucker. So it's up to it's you up guys. To if you want to take touched, the hundred gold each. He touched on the shoulder, didn't he? What did he say? He said, when he touched on the shoulder. I don't said, trust him. He fucked off. He said a skin a skin suit or something. The fuck's that about? Who says that? I fucking I don't trust this motherfucker. I say, I say we fucking slot him. But he's got a client as well. We don't oh, know who. Fiatch, the Fiatcher the steps forward and goes that uh that wouldn't be a very wise idea. Give him what he wants, you're being paid handsomely. Don't question it. 
Do I see the scales know, on Theach just glistening mm. in the in the? They are, yeah. At this point, oh, Patea is going to do night. anything Theach says. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I just walk up and start just touching the scales on his arm. And just wow, look at these scales glowing in the midnight. He uh he night. looks over at you and looks over at Marcus and uh, Marcus just smiles and laughs <laughs> as uh as, as there's a there's a known there's a known entity. He knows what's going on. This has happened so, before, unfortunately. Friends just made this showdown really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is a showdown, like, I don't know, like... Sort of is, isn't it? Me and, Jim, is. me and Jim are getting ready for Mortal Kombat, and Trent's like, I want to stroke him. <laughs> Look at the scales! Uh, like, no cares! Look at these scales! They're, the, they're catching the moonlight, it's reflecting so Oh, do you know what? On that note alone, take the fucking box, honestly. We'll just take the money, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, yeah. alright, 100 bar even, each, let's go. I don't even want to fight anymore because it's just weird now. Yeah, yeah. he takes, uh, he takes the Pateer's box. Patea's made this weird. Back, and he, uh, he goes, he goes, Nazar thanks you. As, uh, as he walks off into the distance. Nazar, Nazar. I don't trust this motherfucker. Nizar. I'm going to say it to everybody. I don't trust this motherfucker. And I think we fucked up giving him that. I think we fucked up badly. And we're going to have to kill him eventually. Trend fucked up. Well, yeah, she got weird. What are you talking about? She got weird. Oh. Old Strokey McStroke a lot. <laughs> Stroking this guy's scales. I mean, there's a time and a place, Patea. This, yeah. this is not the time. This is not the about? place. So yeah. as, you, uh, as you guys are a little bit smackered here, Marcus and Theatch uh, basically call you over and you huddle up and they uh, go, look, there, there's a reason that we've uh, that we've called you over here. There's uh, there's something going on down at the, uh, down the old shrine in the middle of the town near the graveyard. And it, uh, it needs a little bit of investigating. If you're uh, if you're up for it, I have a nice bag of coin. As he uh, as he holds up a bag of coin, which he presumes to be about two hundred gold pieces. And uh, and yeah, are you well, guys in? I mean, not right now because we're fucked. But second at the of all, graveyard. Yeah, well, uh, there's ghosts at the graveyard. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm on a good trip. That'll instantly turn this from a good trip to a bad trip. I'm not going. Fiat, I don't really care so much about that. We're gonna have to sleep on this because we are fucking hammered, right? We are, we are done. There's no way we can fight right now. There's literally no they, way. Yeah, uh, they so. talk to you and go, look. There's a there's a reason that you've been uh, you've been given this. You know, give given this gift. You're uh, you are gonna need it for tonight. It's, uh, it's a bit of a time sensitive issue. Is this he, is he a gift? A little pocket, Being hammered is a, a gift. Watch. Okay, well, you know what's happened here, don't you? You know what's happened here. We've been given the same shit they give Jack Burton in Big Trouble in Little China <laughs> when they go down the lift. That's the shit we've been given. We've been given the fucking decent shit. Right, let's well, go. I okay, feel great. Let's go. I but before great. we go, before we go, Theach, who the fuck is this motherfucker in the shades? I want to know, goddammit. I want to fucking know. <laughs> I ain't taking no for an answer. Who the fuck is this guy? He um, he Nizarre. works for a he works for a very powerful associate called uh, called Nazar. There you go, Unfortunately, Nizarre. I uh, I don't know much more information apart from that. But it's best you stay well clear of them. Nazar, who's the fucking who's who's staff gold uh, water crystal glass staff? Who's glass staff called? What's his name? They, uh, they they look at you and go. We don't we don't know of any. What's Glass Glassstaff's name? Speaking. Come on, Kaz, Dimitra, who's Glassstaff? What's his name? You read his you read his diary, Patea. What's his name? There's the the diary. There was Glassstaff. Oh, it's like Tannis. Can, La- can you find can you find the diary? Leon? It's like Tannis, isn't it? I it was tennis. Can you find the diary, Trent? That's the question. Oh, that's a great question. What do I need to roll? You know, you're you're a little bit hammered at the moment. And you're I am, something. I am pretty hammered. I remember, I remember some names, okay? Because I remember some names. There was a Lord of Glass, <laughs> and I don't know what Lord of Glass wants, but it was something about goblins, I'm assuming, and something about like I don't know spies. I think we were the spies. Though. Yeah, there were strangers, and they, they might be working for the dwarves. But he mentioned his real name. It wasn't. He didn't call himself Glass stuff. He called himself his real name. And does yeah. nobody you, uh, know you his recall, real name? You, you try to recall. Dimrath, being the only person who's sober, manages to recall, and he recalls that it's Lano. Oh. Lano. And what's this guy that you just said a second ago's name? Nazar. Nazar. They're different names, correct? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're right, you're, you're saying all this out loud, and uh, Theats goes, yes, yes, they are very different names. <laughs> okay, 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 right. So uh, you guys, you guys start to inside. Meet us outside. Thirty minutes as they uh, as they start to walk back inside and gather up some supplies. What are we gonna do for thirty minutes? Another beer, lads. <laughs> Dim, as your um, Dim, as you're, as you're walking in, um, Marcus goes, "You're going to need this. Take uh, take take two drops." And he uh, and he hands you the vial. Okay. Can I just start uh, chugging it? Wait, who does he give it to? Because it's a dim wrap, but you you guys I... are already inside. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. In. Trent, <laughs> yeah, is... I'm gonna have to do Trent, it. have you noticed the uh, the pattern on this lovely rug in front of the door? Oh my god, have you guys looked at this rug? It's nice and circular. It's like two nice circles, just nice and round. It's like balls. Look <laughs> <laughs> like shoots. Some fucking they look like shields now. You're right. They look, like, they look like a nice wooden shield. Like I want. I can I pick up the rug and start wrapping it around myself. You um, you get down on your knees and you uh, you try to lift the shield off of the rug, but uh, unfortunately, you uh, you don't manage to pull it off. I can't pick up the shield. Why can't I pick up the shield? This this seems like it's a terrible idea, honestly. So. <laughs> Marcus gestures over to you and tells you all to go and get your gear. So you uh, you stumble upstairs and you. Uh, I'm trying, ready. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it seems that this shit that he's given us has given us some kind of magical powers, right? To resist whatever the fuck we're walking into. So let's. We've got to do this now. Let's get your weapons. Let's go out and fuck these guys up. Let's so you guys gonna go get your weapons? Go. Yeah, let's yep. fucking go. Uh, I'm gonna get my warhammer, my dagger, and my crossbow, and yeah. my shield. My longbow, my bastard sword, and my dagger. They don't have a bastard oh, sword, by the way. I tried to get a bastard sword in the game, and they didn't have it, which is terrible. No. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Imagine not having a bastard sword. I was sad. Imagine not being able to pick up your carpet shield. I oh, know, right? But that was that was fault force. So you've got to blame for that. <gasps> Can That's I bring true. a chair with me? Wait. You, we've already had the chair not, argument. We've already had it. You're currently. Believe it or not, not, in my Discord, enough. there has been a chair versus sword argument. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Can I please? Not strong enough to lift up a chair. <laughs> What is if like you could win against someone with a sword? Yeah, a yeah you remember to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Char was saying that somebody a she a, a chair is a superior weapon to a sword. <laughs> like what is it? Like a cast iron chair that's <laughs> cast iron well, chair. In well, the shape of a sword? <laughs> no, no, no. I've had a busy week, right? So I've missed this whole conversation. Okay, I haven't done a lot of interneting at all. Oh, this was um, years ago, Kaz. This is like one right. or two years Have ago. you ever watched a Jackie Chan movie when he's got the stool? Which is essentially yeah, a chair. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, think, I think that's what Char was basing it off, yeah. Exactly. So... The sword's definitely better, though. Well. You couldn't imagine, like, the Roman army going to war with chairs. <laughs> Not, not if you're fucking Jackie Chan. Is it? <laughs> yeah, but like, like, a proper sword would just cut a chair to pieces. <laughs> Are you calling Jackie Chan a Cena? I, maybe he's an actor. <laughs> Sorry, Kaz. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this, this is uh, a. Take a Jackie Chan's yeah. name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> uh... Demi, I'm, uh, I'm assuming you've gone upstairs and you've put the ointment onto your back, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it, um, it starts to feel better. It's soothing. Cool. Your uh, your skin starts to reform. And do you take a couple of the drops? I do. Uh, we will take mind? a couple of the drops. Uh, yeah, you got two. Cool. You uh, uh yeah, you take yeah, a couple of the drops. Yeah, two. I've had four. You take two. Fucking come at me, bro. <laughs> You've had four. <laughs> <laughs> that so was a terrible you... image, calcium. I hope nobody clips that. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. I instantly regret that. I'd like to strike that from the record. Oh man, somebody needs to make a gif of that. Oh no. 
That's even worse Jesus. than every dim face for the last hour and a half. <laughs> I know. I saw that. I saw someone posted like my face. Oh, like... Baby. <laughs> Oh, man. Right, so you uh, you guys are all ready to go and you've packed up and uh, basically they they run you through the plan and they tell you that there's uh, there's something that needs sorting at the Shrine of Luck but they don't tell you what it is <laughs> and they tell you that you will, uh, you will meet them there shortly. Mate, mate, you're giving us, what, 100 gold each? That other guy gave us 100 gold each and you're not going to tell us what it yeah. is. He, uh, he looks over. He goes, "Look, I, I don't truly really know what it is. I just get my uh, get my tasks from a higher up, and I uh, I pay other people to do them." You dirty bastard! <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he laughs at your comment and goes, "Right on your way." As he uh, as he slaps you on the back, Jim, and uh, pushes you out the door. All right, let's go. You guys head your way over to the shrine. Boy, howdy! Is that uh, his demon cock out at the moment? Yeah, he's out. He's uh, out, mate. We're ready to go. You just need to know that it's the middle of night. It's about two o'clock in the morning. And uh, you guys have got no idea what you're doing. You've just been asked to go over to the Shrine of Luck in the uh, in the middle of town. And we, we thought this was a good idea. You're getting paid for it. We got 100 gold each, mate. Yeah, I know, but you, you just are... mouthed off to some random guy who might be connected and they might just have had enough of I us. I don't give a shit. So, oh. at this point, by the way, you are all very, very either drunk or you're uh, Hi. or you're very inebriated in some way. Um, everything is slightly distorted, if that makes sense. Oh, God. Uh, the walls and grass seem to be moving when they shouldn't be. Um, ev everything is very weird at the moment. It's, it's like you've taken mushrooms, essentially. Oh, dear. So, you, uh, you guys walk over, and, uh, and you see there's, there's this lady who is, uh, who is dressed in white. They have a, right, uh, a white hood over them. Oh. And there's a, there's a dead red brand on the floor. And you look over at her, and you see her eyes are rolled back into her skull. And, Holy uh... Shit. And there's there's a glowing coming from her hands. Can I just start Sun walking up to her, being like, "Whoa, what's wrong with your eyes?" I just want to shoot her. I want to shoot her instantly. Get my bow out, shoot her. As you're uh, as you're doing that, she suddenly falls backwards, and uh, and lets out a shriek as she uh, as she tries to get away from the corpse as fast as possible. Oh, as uh, um... she starts cowering. Like. Right. I'm guessing it's evil. I don't need to detect evil, do I, guys? I mean, do you? Do I? Do I need to detect evil here? Detect, go on, detect evil. Is it like a bonus oh. action? You might as well, if you can. Uh, uh, she's she's not evil, Dimmy, at all. <clears throat> oh. She's not evil at all. Guys. Jimmy. Stop. Okay, she's, she's not she's... evil. She's not evil, Dimmy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to keep, my, I'm gonna keep my bow fucking ready, though. I tell you. Is... She goes, who, who are you people? We are... <laughs> well, I guess we're the four idiots. We're, but that doesn't work. We are the heroes that saved Fandelver. Fandelver? Fan... What's it called? Fandelin. Fandelin. We're the heroes that just saved Fandelin. Uh, who the fuck are you? She sighs and looks over and uh, hastily goes back to the body. Well, you've made my job uh, a lot harder than it needs to be. As she, as she starts wrapping up the body and basically preparing it for burial, you look around and you, uh, you see a lot of freshly... Um, you can see just here the, uh, the black cross-hatching. You can see freshly uh, filled graves with what you assume to be red brands in them. As she's, uh, she's hastily trying to, uh, to wrap up the body and get it ready to go into the, the grave up here. Are you the, uh, are you the people that Theatch sent? Yep. Do you know what's yes. going on? Uh, she sighs and goes, "Look, we've uh, we, we've had a few problems recently around here. I've had a uh, I've had reports when I've uh, when I've left the sanctuary of of people rising up from the uh, from the graves and oh, shambling about. Me. The graves are open in the uh, in the morning when I get back. It's uh, it's a bit concerning. I, I do need some help with this." It's thriller night, isn't it? 
she um she explains to you as well that she can commune with the uh with the dead once per day and that's what she was doing with the red brand to try and pull some information from him she doesn't tell you what information she was trying to pull well, but what, uh, she what, basically explains that to you what did you you didn't get any did you not get anything she goes no i was uh I, I was stopped. There's somebody, something, stopping me from uh, from communing with them. Some you're lucky sort I didn't of shoot uh, you, you dodgy bastard. Some some sort of witch or something that's uh, preventing me from from talking and giving these people a proper burial. And uh, I need some help with that. Are you willing to help? Well, I mean, what's what's in it for us? We're here, aren't we? Hey, what's in it for us? I'm assuming oh, you, you've already you've already been promised pay, have you not? Oh, oh yeah, is that yeah, from you? Is that is that you that's paying us, or is that him that's paying us? Like, what are you going to give is, us? Uh, Theoth has given us some money. Well, he hasn't actually. Someone else gave us it. Some bastard wearing sunglasses at night. Look, what I, are you going to give us? Paid, I've paid Theoth to uh, to get you here. Okay. And he will repay you the rest of it after the task has been completed. And what is the is that fair? How much did you give him? It's an undisclosed amount. Why do you want to know? Because I don't want him to stiff me. Okay. Dodgy dragon yeah. bastard. Yeah, she sighs, sighs over at you and goes, look, I, I don't have time for this. Are you going to help? Are you serious? You've got the four yes. best fighters in Rivendell or wherever the fuck we are. <laughs> 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 You're gonna try and stiff us. Tell us how we yeah, can slit she, your throat. We can fucking over. murder you right now. We can fucking murder you right now. Don't even try and get fresh. She um she looks over at you and says, "Best fighters, yeah." As she uh she rips down the uh the cloth on the red brand's chest, and you can see scars <laughs> in a in a marking of X on his chest. Yes, yes. The you, did a, you did a great job with this one, didn't you? It's dead, isn't he? Look. The rest of you, the rest of these people might see you as heroes. I don't. I just need this job done. Are you in or are you out? So what you're basically saying is you've got a job and no one else can help, right? So you're going to need the four idiots. <laughs> the da, 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 da. Not a problem. Go, That's it's why not... I'm paying you handsomely for this. Kaz, mate, we could have got more money. That's why we're all here, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> she uh, she drags over the red brand and she basically tosses it into the grave and starts slowly pouring dirt over the top. Why don't you burn the bodies? Smoke. Let's burn the bodies. Unfortunately, right. the, uh, the practice, the shrine, forbids us from burning bodies. Right. Doesn't, permit, doesn't stop us, though, right? Way. Doesn't stop us. What uh, deity is the shrine even for? Uh, make a religion check. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen, let's have a look. So, uh, from your knowledge, this is the uh, the shrine of Vinus. Um, she is the Lady of Luck, essentially. From what you remember? The Lady of Luck. Lady of Luck. It's, it's a, a shrine of luck. Is it graveyard? <laughs> yeah, these fuckers are lucky, and they. You can tell. You can tell me. <laughs> these, these are the lucky ones. This is the wrong place for Blood Bowl coaches to go to. I tell you. <laughs> You fucked us for she, years, um, and you want us to save you. She, she basically, she basically walks past you and look. I've left provisions. Uh, I've left provisions over by that grave over there. I'll see you in the morning. As uh, she starts to walk away. Where did you leave the things? Over by the uh, grave up here. Okay, so let's let's all go over there then and see what the fuck it is. So there's uh, there's some sleeping bags strewn around. Uh, some food and a small fire that's been set up. Can my character, uh, Patea just opens one of the sleeping bags, crawls right in, and is like, good night. <laughs> Why are we sleeping? 
Because, Dimmy, they're, they're going to come out during the night, right? And then we're going to have to fight them. But we can't burn them because... It's, it's like 2am, isn't it? Yeah, but I they might come out at 5am or whatever, or 4am. Who knows? I don't know about that. I don't think sleeping's a good idea. Well, I don't either. I think we should just stay up. We can stay up. It depends how drunk we are. Maybe we can't stay up. Maybe we can't wake each other up. Right, so are you guys spreading We'll be more out? tired, right, if we don't sleep. But on the other hand, it's the problem of waking people up. Are there, are there bodies? Are there bodies like just lying there? And is there? Like, there no there's bodies, five so of them. But there's five open graves, right? But they've got they've got like freshly soil on them, right? But they're still going to come out, right? Because they come out every night. That's what oh, you're right. saying. Oh, no, no, no. So they're going to come out. They're going to come out and try and fuck us. Well, like if you think they're going to come out of the graves, do you not think like we can set some traps or something like by the at, graves? At, or... at this point, there is a uh, there is a chill in the air, and the trees start to slowly be moving from what you notice. I'm going to wake up, Patea. <laughs> I'm just knocked out. You're not waking me up. I'm Well, I'm going to shake. <clears throat> I'm going to shake Tren until she wakes up. I say, fuck off. Let me sleep. Is there anyone actually here? No, let me Danger. get up again. Danger. I'm going to say danger. I don't care. <laughs> danger. <laughs> Like you should have said, do you know what? Do you know what? When I was at school, oh. when I was at school, somebody used to run into classes and shout "danger, danger," <laughs> and then some people would run out. And anyone who didn't run out, he said, "You'd all be dead if there was danger." <laughs> <laughs> he just did that all the time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So as this is going on and you guys are basically bantering between you, you are you don't take this uh, too seriously. You're just here for the point. <laughs> you are uh, you start to realise there's a black smog, like a smoke, starting to uh, to leach out of the the stone door of the altar. Mm. Oh dear. All right, I'm going to say it. Slowly starts to creep down towards you. Look, Patea, there's some gold there. Where? <laughs> <laughs> At the altar. At the altar, get up! There's gold at the altar! That's genius, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, uh, as you guys are doing this, the tombstones start to slowly sway left and right and start to animate. Oh, the well, stones. shit. Oh, fuck me. Get my ball out, ready. <clears throat> are these tombstones uh, in, that, in that square building? Or that the tombstones are everywhere around you. Oh, all right. Okay. Get your crossbow, out, Dimrath. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll string my crossbow. Well, like if it's a ghost, like oh, I guess it might be a zombie. Yeah, yeah. I'll string the crossbow. You uh, you guys start to hear shrieking coming from the tree line. I God. use my dancing light. Cancer. Slowly starts <laughs> starts on the north side. You hear another scream coming from the south side. <laughs> And then the I west my, side. I use my dancing light cantrip to put four little lights up in the air in like a north, south, east, west pattern around us. So you put four little lights up into the air, but the glowing isn't that much. It's uh, it's enough to give some basic light onto the ground, but not see into the tree line. It's very dense, thicketed forests. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Have another Malibu, Jim. It's all right. <laughs> I'm drunk, okay. What's going on? What's he just going said on? dense like, bush, didn't he? And it just made me laugh. I'm he sorry. said what? <laughs> bush. <laughs> he, he said bush. Jesus Dream. Christ. He's gone, isn't he? He's gone. <laughs> I can't see <laughs> As you're, uh, as you're doing this, Jim, you basically walk over to the fountain and you prop yourself up. You sit down and prop yourself up with your back against the fountain. Yeah. Um, the the effects of whatever you've taken have taken quite a strong effect over you. Yeah, haven't they just? And you're you're, you're struggling a little bit. But hey, you getting up? Oh, yeah. Demon oh. Cop comes over to you, Jim, and uh, he's looking really concerned as he looks up at you. Good lad. I'll put I'll put his hat on so everyone knows where they are, and I'll say, everyone, you can see my coconut. <laughs> Just so You're we know what's going on. They all they, they all see the hat. <laughs> Not you as well, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough for this tonight. <laughs> 
at this point, you hear a, uh, a groaning and a shambling as uh, as bones start clanking as an arm, and then slowly a man comes up from one of the graves. Oh, fuck okay, me. bones. What do you reckon's best to hit them with? Like <clears throat> hammers. They, uh, they slowly start walking over to you, ever so slowly, at about a quarter of a, a walking fire. pace. Fire, like fire. Aim, aim for the head, Dimrath. Aim for the head. With what? With what? The hammer. Crossbow. As this is uh, as this is going on, another one, another Crossbow. one comes up. It's a, it's a zombie essentially. Another zombie. one comes up, and starts walking over, groaning. There's only one thing we can do here, team. A coordinated dance off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, we need to. We need no, to like shoot them. Shoot them. Oh. Like, do you not want to, like, move into, like, a... No, I, I've watched every zombie movie they ever made in the 80s. Shoot them in the head. I will try and shoot one in the head, but I guess I'm going to have a minus. This is, um, as this is going on, a lot more zombies start appearing, oh, and they, they start to walk to you. Oh, and then off. they just stop. They stop walking. Oh, okay. Oh, That's weird. They just start staring at you. All right, detect evil. <laughs> They're fucking zombies. <laughs> Tim, they are very, very evil. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Captain well, Obvious. Uh, uh, <laughs> just, at, at this point, the zombies are point. evil. <laughs> They're evil zombies. <laughs> at uh, at this point, the uh, the stone door on the front of the uh, the crypt here oh, starts to come down. As you see, this is very weird. You don't know if it's you guys hallucinating, but you um you start to see flashing lights coming from behind it. That's a good song though, isn't it? Yo, I don't that, know what, what kind like of we're doing right now, but As, I, uh, I'm not okay. <laughs> a man walked out. He's uh, he's completely dressed in black. He appears to be floating in the air. You can't see any of his feet. Fuck and he's, uh, he's uh, completely hooded over and he's emanating this, this black smoke off of him. I yell at him, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> yeah, he looks over to you and points to Siri and goes, what are you doing in this place? You're, uh, you're, you're basically struck at this point, Matea. You're frozen to your core. I am absolutely petrified, but we were, we were, we were told to come here. We're, we mean no harm. We are? You come to to defile this place? No. Wh why are you here? I've I've been here for centuries. This is my tomb. Why are you here? Because things have started yeah. happening recently. Someone doesn't like you being here. I think. They and why? Why just now? Know. Why just? What's changed? Nothing has changed. There's a uh, there's a lot of things going on in the town here. Listen, I will let you live on one condition. You are, you need to help me with something. Yes, of course, what do you want? And then afterwards, you will leave me alone and you will never come back to this place. Okay. There is a, a spirit that, uh, that hasn't passed on properly. And, uh, and she's stopping me from doing the work that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. You clear Wait, out what? the spirit for me, and uh, and I'll grant you your freedom. I think that sounds fair. Can I do like a and persuasion? Everything will stop. Everything will stop then. The, the recent problems will stop. Everything what, will stop. What is your work? Like, what is your work here that you, she's preventing you from doing? Spirit. Yeah, he lets out a sigh and goes, "There's a, there's a delicate balance with, with life and death." Dimrath, as he uh, as he calls you out by name, and you find that odd because you haven't given him your name. Sometimes spirits don't pass on properly, and they uh, they they cause problems for those of us who are trying to uh, to pass people on to the afterlife. You said uh, it's a female spirit? It is. One, uh, once a name called Agatha. Mm. 
she was uh, she was a tormented soul, unfortunately. She was uh, she was murdered. She was left to rot out in the forest. Can we deal with her as mere mortals? Uh, bury her and bury her, give her a proper burial, I reckon. Oh, if her, <laughs> if she's in the forest. <laughs> how, how do you know my name? I know everybody's name, Dimrath. What's my name? There have been many. <laughs> he uh, he laughs over you, and uh, he um he lifts up his hand, Jim, and he starts to clench his uh his hand together. I think and you start one. to feel his uh, his hand around your neck, constricting your air pipe. Okay, okay. You go ask silly questions. Okay, sorry, sorry. Star Vader. And I'm gonna say. Yeah, he lets go. I'm gonna say he doesn't know my name though. <laughs> <laughs> You um you do this and he uh he lets go of your neck. <laughs> you may know me as many names. I go by the aspect of death. The aspect. Fuck me, that sounds pretty serious, lads. I reckon we should fuck up this bitch who's fucking things up. What what are you doing in the shrine of Venus? This was where I was laid to rest, and this is where I shall remain. My job is to pass the life on into the afterworld. These people that have been brutally slain, they're uh, coming with me. But unfortunately, there are some that cannot be taken. And this is uh, interrupting my work. So this is like the, the fairy man. <laughs> yes. What I thought he said fairy man, and I was like, that's Marcus. <laughs> what killed Agatha? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the fairy man! <laughs> you are, he hears you say that, and he goes, "Fandolin is is not what you think it once was. The uh, the village has changed over time. People come and go. The, uh, the I village can elders to that. they they beat her, strung her out, and threw her corpse into the forest because they had a disagreement of sorts." In the forest, you, put you say. Put her body to rest. Yeah, you put her body so... to rest. Yeah, I think. And, uh, and I will right, grant yeah. you your life. I said that we need to find a body, put it to rest. Bish bash bosh. Yeah. Sort Have any of us got a spade on us? <laughs> I've got manacles. I, I, I think. I yeah, have... I'm sure she'll appreciate being handcuffed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a flask of holy water and an amulet that's a holy symbol. And, is there uh, any? Are there any spades here? Like you I've know, got a flask of oil and a tea yeah. box and torches, so I could set set on goes, fire as well. I've got all sorts. He goes, of things. meet me he here. Get ahead of himself. With he the goes, spade. meet me here tomorrow body. evening. Meet me here tomorrow. And we evening. will, uh, we will discuss further plans. Okay. Okay. okay so, yeah, that sounds good, mate. That sounds good. Back off, Night of the Living Dead. We'll, we'll, we'll go and do what you want. Yeah, take these fuckers off our back. Uh, we'll, we'll yeah, the zombies start turning around and slowly shambling back to the graves yeah, that lad. they came from. Good lad. Good, they all look hard as fuck. Yeah, they do, don't they? Tomorrow night, two o'clock. Do not be late. What time? Two o'clock. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as really he, uh, good at role playing somebody drunk, aren't I? <laughs> you are. As he uh, he slowly starts to float backwards, and the uh, and the stone door oh closes off his exit. Okay. Well, I think we should get a good night's sleep now, everybody. What do you think? Yes. Agreed. Yep. Good. Back to Marcus's place. Back to the demon realm. Demon cock. I think Trent's muted. But I, I think it's just yeah. Simplest. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my mic isn't working. Right, we're going back to the tavern, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, back to sleep. Right. So you guys head back over to the tavern, and uh, and Marcus and Theatcha are standing there waiting for you guys. Okay, good. So we go up to them and say, right, Marcus Theatch. Does Marcus know, Marcus doesn't know anything? He was out the back with us though, wasn't he? So I guess he's okay to talk to them in front of him. Uh, so Theatch, right? We went there. 
there's like some fucking demon sorcerer Miyagi kind of fella there. Um, he said, there's, an, there's some bird who's causing all the trouble. If we get rid of her, all the problems go away. He's be, he says he's been there forever. Do you believe this gadge or do you think he's just making up some story that will make him more powerful or should we try and deal with him and the zombies or should we try and deal with this woman? What's the yeah, crack? Um, Open up to us. Tell us what's going on. To you and he's, he's thinking about it. And he uh, he pulls out a, a compass and, uh, and a chart and he gestures you to uh, to walk outside the, to the back. And uh, as you guys, uh, you guys are outside, he shows you, looking at the chart, that tomorrow is going to be a blood moon. It happens about once every 200 years or so, Fucking where all of the stars perfectly align. And, uh, and that would be the time that, uh, that she needs to be taken down, he explains to you. So do you think he's bullshitting us or do you think it's real? What do you, what do you think? You're, you're, you're the one who hired us. Why did you hire us? You haven't really, you haven't really explained why you've hired us. Someone hired There's you, a... right? Someone hired you. You, you guys, you guys walk back inside, and uh, he sits you down at the table, and he explains to you, basically the procedure of how things work. He gets contracts, which are uh, which are passed down to him, and uh, he merely passes those contracts on. He's a, he's a contract broker of sorts, if that makes sense. What happened to Agatha? Yeah, he exclaims that he doesn't know, unfortunately. Marcus! He was just, uh, he was given Garcon. a job. Garçon! <laughs> have you heard of anyone called Agatha around these parts in his, historically? You, um, you see him go completely pale on his face. Where, oh, where did you hear that name? We heard it at the graveyard. There's some kind of demon sorcerer. Uh, she was someone a long time ago that uh, had a bit of a, a disagreement with some of the elders. And uh, she she disappeared, essentially. I don't know much more about that, but nobody's nobody's talked about her in years. Who are the elders? The yeah. elders have uh, the elders have been removed from Vandalin. They're uh, they're a group of people who founded it. Why were they removed? Why 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 do you think? <laughs> as uh, as he as he remarks about um remarks about Agatha, they were they were brutal in what they wanted. They tried to sculpt the uh, the town to what they saw fit and what they wanted, not what was needed. And for that, they had to be removed. Oh, what do you think, lads? Do you think we should? Do you think we should? Do you think we should side in with this guy with the zombies? I mean, maybe we can take him, right? And maybe that would stop it. Or maybe we should give him what he wants. What do you think? Do you think we should try and I mean, like, kill him or kill to, her? What do you think? To me, he sounds like a natural part of the world, right? Like he's there yeah, to... and taking on death doesn't seem like a great idea. Yeah. From what he explained, he is an aspect of death. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's one of the death isn't evil, out. right? Death isn't evil. Death just yeah, yeah. Death isn't, death isn't inherently evil, no. Yeah. So I, I think we should go with him, but if you think we shouldn't, but I guess it looks like no, I, 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 two of you are on board. Yeah, what do you I'm, think, Patea? I'm just freaked well, out by this blood moon. You guys have sobered up a little the bit. The blood moon is a bit weird, isn't it? The blood moon is the weird. That makes it seem like... He's using us, but then he wouldn't know that they'd send us the night before, right? It could have been, he could have sent us like 50 years before. Unless he's done it so that somebody would send us the night before. He could have zombied us, couldn't he? He could have he could have, he could have started doing the zombies, though, oh, just to get somebody. That. He could have done, yeah, but he, he started that. doing the zombies to get us to kill her because he can't leave there or something, right? Maybe I'm thinking too much for a, a drunk man. I don't know, but I tend yeah. to think when I'm drunk. <laughs> That's my curse. <laughs> I drink when I know things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's that was made the, for me, it, holy it, shit. You, know, you start to think and you, you think, why wouldn't he be able to leave the shrine to go and sort this out himself? I don't know, maybe not. He's a uh, dead bastard, isn't he? Well, uh, maybe she may keeps him there. Yeah, maybe we'd enable him to, you know, release the beast. 
Is there, like, you a remember him talking crap? about not being able to do his job. And do you remember that red hair? Sorry, sorry. Do you remember? <laughs> I do calculate the optimal pizza radius when I order food, by the way, when I'm drunk. I always do pi r squared and work out the value of the pizzas when I'm ordering them. <laughs> Wow. And I guess, I guess Red has remembered that. Holy shit, that's incredible. It's true. Or he's just yeah. randomly said it. But I do, I do pie ass squared when I'm drunk to work out pizza, pizza value. Anyway, moving on. So yeah, oh. Calcium's thrilled. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's, I'm, I've been up since five a.m. I'm starting to really struggle. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's, uh, it's getting to the point where it's about 3 a.m. <laughs> in the morning, and uh, you can see Marcus and Theatch getting tired. Alright, we want to have a good rest. Should we just have a good rest and fuck up this woman? Do you reckon, yeah? yeah? yeah. Or, 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 Lo yeah. Lovely phrasing. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Agatha what Christie. Was, what Jim meant was, you know, um, give her a decent burial and send her soul yeah. at rest. Yes. That's what he meant. That's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. We might moon. have to fight her, though. We might have to fight her. She might be some undead moon. monstrosity by now, wait, right? Wait, 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 wait. There's a no, very real chance of her being a completely fucking horrendous undead monstrosity that kills one of us. That's the thing, right? I don't, I don't think yeah. she's going to be the problem. I don't think she is either, because... Okay, so how, how long ago did she disappear? Are you asking Marcus? Yeah, yeah. About 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> You've um, you found some bar snacks, and as you're as you're out, down on the bar snacks. You, from whatever Marcus gave you, you got the munchies. That was amazing. <laughs> Stop judging me. Oh my! Uh, this is the way the cameras. <laughs> Look away! <laughs> okay, so I've got this right. We've all seen Conan the Destroyer, right? You know the bit where the fucking. We probably all haven't calcium, but on four of us have. Maybe yeah. only three of us have. The only way you could kill that demon prince is by letting him become a demon prince. So I reckon we release the beast, right? This avatar death thing. Yeah? He's gonna think he's free. And then as Jim says, we slot the scene up. <laughs> oh my god. Do it. I I I am agreeing with um Cobra. They um so Marcus overhears what you're saying. And um he notices you're talking about the aspects of death. And uh, he advises you that it's probably not a good idea to get on his bad side. There are many... He's, he's never met the aspect of death, but there are many uh, a myth and a legend of the, uh, of the aspect. And it's probably not the best idea to try and attack them, he says. All right, so maybe we trust him and we go for this Agatha Christie. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. that's what I thought. Sorry, Kez. I, I, that's what I... What you said. He, um, he, he, starts, he, starts, uh, he starts agreeing with you and says that the, probably the best idea is to uh, is to try and put her soul to the rest. All right, let's get some sleep. And th this 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 drink that you gave us, Marcus, was that to fight undead in general, or this guy specifically, or what was the point in this thing you gave us? Do you have to give us it tomorrow to fight the uh, Agatha, or what do you reckon? He, uh, he laughs at you and he goes, it was, it was just for fun. I'm, uh, what's <laughs> the term? <laughs> Fucking with you. <laughs> See, as he walks up, back Fucking into Viagra, the kitchen mate. laughing. <laughs> you absolute dickhead. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get some kip then. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That looks like great pasta, though. <laughs> it's not pasta, is it? That's noodles. That's it's sure. pasta, isn't it? That's spaghetti. That's, it looks like really thick for spaghetti. <laughs> go on, Trent. We're all watching you eat now. No pressure. Like, go on. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> so, uh, Theatch goes upstairs to his room and the uh, even behind the <laughs> and uh, gets a good night's sleep. Are you guys going to bed? Mm hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, sleep, sleep, sleep. 
No time for pasta, straight to bed. Yep. So Can you I guys, uh... To bed with me? <laughs> you can bring your pasta to bed. So you, uh, you pick up the bowl. And, uh, you don't know, you don't know where this bowl has come from. <laughs> you are thinking about it now. You think it's Marcus's dinner. Um, <laughs> because that's where you were sitting before as you've, uh, as you've gone into the bar. You've basically sat down and started munching on his dinner. Poor but he, he doesn't seem to mind too much. He's a happy lad. And he, uh, oh he ushers goodness. you guys upstairs. And he, uh, he says to you, you, you enjoy that, Patea. Oh, thank you. As, yeah, as he laughs at you. I just crawl oh, yeah? in the bed with my bowl of pasta. Yeah, you guys make it upstairs to bed, and uh, and the night starts to uh, the night starts to tick over. <sighs> and, uh, we'll leave it there until next time. Boy, howdy! Oh, bless you, Fault Force. You can see I'm <laughs> properly hanging. I thought you were <laughs> a little bit tired, yeah. <laughs> Boy, howdy! Oh, I fucking love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> well. Get ready to do the thing, everybody, because you two didn't, Cousin Dimmy, last time. Right, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>